everyone and welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host chelsea lynn and i'm your host Paige jen Woohoo! when the song started your mouth made that pussy noise like oh <laughs> i didn't even hear it oh my you guys are gonna have to rewind to, to see if i did that or if you're making it up yep what oh. if i just made that up <laughs> <laughs> well you never know um hey honeys merry christmas here it's almost christmas time and uh want to let the listeners know this will be the last podcast of the year honeys we are taking the next couple weeks off to enjoy christmas and the holidays and the new year yep it's yep. gonna be weird having a little breaky yeah it is much needed though so much needed and we appreciate you guys sticking around and you guys just you know enjoy the holidays and we will be back um we're gonna take a couple tuesdays off but we will be back Yes, be safe traveling out there. Yes. Another thing, um, we're doing a little something different this episode. No segments, extra questions. Yep, because that's what you guys wanted. Yeah, we, we've we seen a couple of those comments, and we're testing that, that out. You know, some people, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I know. We can't keep everyone happy, but damn it, we try on this podcast, and that's a full-time job. Oh, yeah, we have to bend. That is a full-time job. The only little segment we're going to do is actually, I am going to announce the Rock Fucker of the Week. Dun, dun, okay? Dun. And the Rock Fucker of the Week is Jerry Allen Lindsay. Woo! Congratulations, honeys. Maggie's going to be reaching out, getting your t-shirt size and address, and we are going to send you an exclusive piece of viral merch. Thank you for liking shit and whatnot. Yeah. Jared Allen Lindsay, that sounds like a... I don't like what? <laughs> like like a country music star? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's, that's true. Gary Allen. That is Gary Allen. Good times. Um, so if you want to get Rock Fucker of the Week, you just gotta interact with the viral podcast on social media. Go comment, go share, go like it like, go just do whatever you want to do. Anything. And we pick randomly. So Did we tell the listeners that we added a art? <gasps> no, go ahead. Oh, yeah, we got an art highlight for our Instagram. So if you make art or have, send it to us, tag us, and we'll share it on our highlights. We're going to start a highlight. And we've also, on our Instagram, started a Moomoo code highlights for all of our Moomoo commercials and ads on the pod. Sometimes you guys will be like, hey, what was the code for something we did like 10 episodes ago? And I can't remember, you know. So we're going to have all of the codes right there to where you can just go to our Instagram, click on it. It's there. Under, Make it easier. Yep, under codes. Under codes. Um, hey, honey's just got back from Mexico here last night. Hey, honey's itchy here. My legs are bit up with mosquitoes. Bites. I wish that they made spurs for bare feet so I could just not have to bend over to itch my mosquito bites. I could just spur them. Oh my Scratch them with a, with a cowboy spur? Yeah, for bare feet they should do that. I've had a fork on hand at all times to just go to town. Nothing better than a metal fork to scratch Ooh. with. Ooh, a metal fork? Yeah. When we were out to dinner, Beth, she was like itching her back all aggressive. And then I, she fucking pulls out the ni- a knife. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? You got to have, yeah, look, I'm scratching right now. Oh my gosh. We're I like, haven't stopped. We're ate up. But I know what you guys were thinking. Oh, you got back from. Well, you were in Mexico a couple weeks ago. Yes. Technically, we got back last night. Before we left, we pre-recorded an episode to post when we got back because we knew we wouldn't have time. So. Yeah. And we don't want to do that, you know. The yeah. editing, don't want to do it a fucking day before. Right. It's a lot. We want to have time. So we did pre-record. So that's what you heard last week. But technically, we are back from Mexico. Now, Maggie spent the whole week we were in Mexico just crying and cr- just mm. fucking sad dude it was all so here. upset did did you maggie <laughs> no okay. no and and i was invited and i just feel like people blew it way out of oh yeah if you don't know what we're talking about um when was it two three episodes ago maybe by now I by this one's gonna uh, be out. episode 60 
Yeah, episode 60, we were talking about our upcoming trip. Um, we had mentioned, um, you know, Maggie wasn't going for multiple reasons. She said she wasn't invited. To me, it was a harmless conversation. I was just fucking with y'all. And I didn't think anything about it. And I would feel, I feel like 98% of the listeners got that, knew it, whatever. When that pod dropped, there were some people that were fucking pissed. My DMs were blowing up, people mad at me. Um, Maggie's DMs were blowing up. Maggie was like, that's why I don't check my DMs. Maggie was upset. She was upset it was going to ruin our trip. It was a whole thing. Listen, Maggie goes on vacations. We include her. It, I don't know if it came off as if we didn't. People got mad. Um, it was blown out of proportion. For sure. Big time. Yeah. And not everybody can always go do everything. Even people get mad if I'm not on tour with you. People get upset about anything. So... I mean, we can't all, we all have different lives, so we can't just, everyone, we would love to always just fucking be together, but we can't. Right, right, right. No, Maggie was invited to Mexico by Beth. I didn't invite her because uh, we talked about it the other, the other week, but that's the whole thing. Um, Yeah, was blown totally out of proportion. And people will be mad that I'm saying it's blown out of proportion. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Yeah, you know, you just can't. Sometimes... I've been learning that mm-hmm. you just got to let people talk because if oh, you yeah. sin or spend all the fucking time trying to oh, come yeah. up with things and sticking up for yourself, it's just going to be a waste of time. Right. And then we got back, Maggie was saying she had the worst period of her week and she was like, I'm glad I didn't go. I was in pain the whole week. Oh, it was horrible. Horrible. So it worked out. <laughs> it, it worked out. And honestly, I mean, I, I I'm know. glad y'all had fun. I felt bad. Because I, I didn't want anybody to. Oh, don't I know. Feel don't bad. don't feel bad. Trip. No, 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 and nobody did. You're fine. Good. And I was on the worst period the last couple of days. I leaked through <sighs> everything. Chelsea, yeah, there's blood on the light Sh- switches. Stop. Oh, yeah, I leaked in like the a taxi. Crime scene. She was free bleeding everywhere. Well, but why? Just the pussy bleeding. <laughs> um. So I had a pad on. We went on a tour to Chicken Itza or something. What's it called? I don't Chichen know. Itza. Oh, Chichen Itza. And in the taxi, I looked down and oh, God. blood. So then I tried to get it up with a baby wipe. Oh, and God. Dude, it was so bad. Oh, my gosh. Chelsea's you didn't even like, get in the cenote. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe the freaking ocean, if I just sit there with my bathing suit open, maybe the water will come in, flush it out, and bring it back to the sea. And so I did that. But the <laughs> animals that would come up and get it. Oh, nothing came up, thank God. But she, <laughs> she was letting ocean water clean her out. It was like an enema or a bidet for my pussy. A pussy. And they were, oh, I don't. Were mm-hmm. there clots? Where yes, were Maggie. Swimming? Yes, Maggie. And then yes. I'm like, Chelsea, look. And then she's like, Can you take some pictures of me? And she's like, God, my phone smells like pennies. You smell like <laughs> you smell like iron. Because she was taking her clots out and then touching my phone to take pictures of me. And then she gave my phone back and it was like a whiff of pennies. I got so mad. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, Go wash your hands. I'm like, What? Anyway, we did have a wonderful time in Mexico. We are back. Um, I don't want to give too much away just yet, but we may be moving studios. Again. Here pretty soon. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep it at that. And, you know, we we will keep y'all informed. We may have a new viral podcast studio here pretty soon. Just want to say that. A um, couple more things before we get into the questions. Adult diapers. Be honest. Because we were about to film the pod. And everyone's like, are you ready? And I go, oh, let me go pee real quick before. And I think Brett goes, why don't you just wear a diaper during the pod? And I thought, that is actually hilarious. Should I just for maybe one episode or is that too disgusting? I, dude, I told you I was going to wear diapers the other day. I know. <laughs> and I'm serious. But you're talking about for blood. I'm talking about for right here if I need to pee while we're filming. Is that too much? Hold it. Or if you start leaking. Yeah. That's what, because for the laughing. Yeah, that's, that's true. Because I always do pee need my pants. Yeah. Pads. I think it'd be funny if you were pooping. 
Ew, no, no, I can't smell. I don't shit. want. It. It's hot in here. The shit smell. No, uh-uh. Uh-uh. no, we're not shitting in here. I'm no. I know I'm not. <laughs> I, y- y'all try to talk me into something that I know I'm not doing. I could piss right now in a diaper because I already have to pee, and we just started. But I don't want. Should we tell people though? And should we be like, "Hey guys, I'm peeing right now." Is that gross, or should we try it? Let us know in the comments. We're gonna be sitting here with soggy diapers and get <laughs> rashes and shit. I get. I have soggy shorts all the time anyway from peeing on this podcast. So why not? We're like, hold on, I gotta throw out my diaper. <laughs> We're just throwing that out there. Thought it was a good idea. Um, couple things. I would like to shout out truck drivers. They are the backbone of America. You guys don't get enough credit. You work your asses off. Uh long trips. Um gotta stay awake. You make the world go around and we appreciate you. Shout out to truckers. Okay? Stay safe out there. We love you. And um, also, a little holiday season shout out. I want to shout out to delivery drivers, okay, and retail workers. Mm-hmm. Dude, I could <sighs> kiss a fucking FedEx driver on the lips. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I've been in retail during the holiday seasons. I mean, shout out to you. We're thinking about you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. All the fucking people. And just, walk, dude... I hate getting out of the car and walking into something. <laughs> Imagine having to stop and then get out, carry packages. Oh, I'd be yeah. fucking chucking them at doors probably. <laughs> For real. You'd be fired. Yeah. That's a hard job. Oh, I know. I Yeah. And some driveways mm-hmm. are bad. Mm-hmm. Potholes. Potholes and then the walking and oh my God. So we, we're thinking about you this holiday season. You guys stay safe out there and um, we'll get through it. This holiday season. We love you and appreciate you guys. Love you. Um, Brett took a video of himself in Mexico sun tanning his butthole. Yes. And we've always talked about how Brett has a weird looking butthole. It looks like he, he has pussy lips on his butthole. Something's off there. Um, <laughs> it was so- <laughs> disgusting. He goes, can you come uh, film me sun tanning my butthole? And I'm doing it. And then I freaking look inside. He's spread... Uh, bacon lips and bacon lips that's what it is i look inside and the housekeeper is right there at the window (laughs) watching y'all yeah we didn't know she's there so long story short maggie has never seen his butthole i've heard about it yeah i've heard about it yeah legend so we are going to show we can't show you guys because we'll get deplatformed but um But Brett is going to show Maggie a picture of his butthole right now. Oh, wait, here, you hold it. Here's Maggie's reaction right now. Seen did you take a screenshot yeah. of it? Here, here we go. <gasps> hold on. <laughs> is it freaking nasty? What you thinking? Is it? Is that the hole? I'm Whoa. confused. I, 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 I've bad. never zoomed in like that. <laughs> Dang. Is there poop dude. on it? I couldn't it, see it because of it, all the fucking hair. Is there poop what on it? What are those like little uh, uh, chips? That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Bacon pussy lips. Chips and That's dip. what we've been talking about. That's what it. are those? Chips. What are those? Yeah, yeah I got, I like I I got a lot a of folds. Yeah, yeah. You got pussy lip folds on Whoa. your butthole. Here's the thing. Yeah, I've never done that. Y'all made it seem like there was like lips and stuff. I don't think it looks that bad. <laughs> but uh, there's lips on that butthole. We'll zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> he might not be showing you a good pick. Fold. Because I mean, I've seen I, it. Here, yeah, take a look. Okay. You know, can you show, you do you think. have another picture you can show her? I don't think that one looks. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send you, this to. Those uh, are like hemorrhoids, <laughs> I feel like. I don't, oh, really? I don't feel like they are. They're from hemorrhoids. Something's up. They're from having hemorrhoids, and then it's just the skin left over. What? I've never had a hemorrhoid, I don't think. What? So well, you just bleed a lot? Apparently, uh, <laughs> no, you don't have. Okay, to. no, 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 no. See that butthole doesn't look bad. L- listen, this is not a good picture. Show her a close up. Oh yeah, that's what we, she did. I zoomed in, but it was like no. not clear. Here, didn't I take a video of your butthole? So the lip descends from a hemorrhoid. Well, I hadn't pooped yet. The one that you got, the 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 video of me, I took a big old dump. Brad, you know? gross. I think it's more when he pushes out. He was. Were you pushing out in that pic? Uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> There's so much hair you can barely see the asshole I know. Itself. Oh, yeah, I was pushing out because I was trying to get a fart. I was going to fart on Chelsea's head or something like that. Huh? 
in the video <laughs> oh, dad, at our house. Stop. Why did he go or something like Okay, that? here's a better picture. Because I took a video of his butthole, and here's a better picture. How do we get it? You going to airdrop it? Yep. Mm. <laughs> Airdropping it right now oh, to man. Maggie. It's not good. Here we go. All right. Here, all right. Here we go. And it needs a ring light on it, but you'll see. Brett, why don't you just show her right now? Tell You're me. right there. <laughs> tell okay, me. okay. Tell me that don't look like a pussy. Let me see. Oh, I, yeah. I can tell with the folds in this picture a lot better. Yeah, it's more flappy. That What's one. with all the folds, Brett? Maybe I've changed since then, you know? No, that was three days ago. But that one's better than this one, right? Yeah. It does I've look like up. a pussy lip. Okay. Up a little bit. And then that looks like the clit. Yes, what is Maggie. That? Yes, Maggie. I think it's just folds, <laughs> Folgers. Dude, oh. <laughs> it's just Folgers coffee. All right, Folgers. Should we move on? Oh no, let's just keep talking about this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm deleting this. Oh yeah, we're gonna plug my thing. I'm no, just kidding. Maggie said I'm deleting this. I delete. I don't want to get on there later and then pull up and see that asshole again. Go to your deleted and delete them there too. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about that's those. That's a good one. Ooh. Yeah. So I, you know, we wanted to do that on the pod for you. So, mm-hmm. so wish I had a diaper on. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> right. Hey guys, I finally seen the butthole. You saw the bu- the pussy lip butthole. Yeah. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you, Brett, oh. for showing that to me. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Bacon lips, <laughs> bacon <laughs> lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. <sighs> wow. So here we are. Uh, should we tell them what we're gonna do today? What? That big surprise. Did we talk? Do I know about the surprise? Yeah. About what we're not going to do? Oh, did we already tell them? The no segments, ask your questions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the segments. Uh, I, ta- I can't remember if we did that before the podcast. Or <laughs> yeah. We, we talked about it so much, we so yeah. I don't even know. We talked about that about five minutes ago. Oh, um, hmm. oh, yeah, I went to bed at 3 a.m. A little sleepy. <laughs> yeah. You're tired, honeys. Yeah. We have to get on uh, TikTok and just film ourselves sleeping live. What? Yes. There are people who go live and they'll like turn on a little nightlight and like go live as they're sleeping. And Paige wants me and her to do that. I go, all it's going to be is just us farting in the middle of the night. You snoring Why don't we just do so that? fucking loud. Just farts only. <laughs> live. No, because like the sleeping thing is out of control. I've never seen that. Yep. On TikTok. They'll set up a fan, they'll set up their tripod, and they'll just go live and just sleep all night. Some people will have things that, like, if you send them money or whatever, like, flashing lights will go off, or, like, sounds that go, like, wake up, or, you know, people have it set up fucking crazy. They, whoa. I don't know how they have that connected to, to TikTok. Whoa. But then some people will just sleep there all fucking night with nothing going on. That boosts your algorithm. Sounds like they have a creator fund set up. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. We should do that. Paige has been wanting to do that, so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All of us sh- should just sleep in one room, have a big sleepover. <laughs> oh. All of us. Libby. I'd love that. Everyone. So that would actually be fun. Get a bunch of snacks. Mm-hmm. And can you watch TV or can there be yeah. no sound? I, I, don't just, I don't think any, just no sound would be funny. All of us sleeping throughout the night. Uh-huh. Shaving cream, Chelsea. No. Huh? Your pillow. <laughs> Try it and see. It's <laughs> on me, bitch. <laughs> Try it and see what happens. All right. Okay, guys. Are we uh, ready or got anything else you want to say about bacon pussy or? Get ready. All right. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, y'all. Um, I had a question mainly for all of you guys because uh, I'm Chelsea. I met a guy. And I started listening to the podcast last week with him. <laughs> and he immediately turned it off. And I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck is this? I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we kind of got into a small argument. But I feel like I should give more time on listening to the podcast to him. I just don't think <laughs> we had it at a good spot with him. <laughs> so... I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I still continue to hang out with this one or continue to try and get him to listen to you guys? Because he was turned off, and it was just a small part of your guys' podcast. He didn't hear all the the good things about it. So, I don't know. Just let me know. 
All right, love y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love ya. The Fuck fact- that guy. <laughs> yeah, for real. No, I'm kidding. The fact that she's, like, basing the guy from listening to our podcast, if she should continue talking to him. Is cool. <laughs> fucking. Yeah, I love her. Whoa. I love her. I love her. Imagine you just break <clears throat> up with a dude. You're like, nah, you don't You don't like this pod. <clears throat> well. We're not fit. I'll tell you what happened with me and Greg. Our, like, very first date. I mean, I had been talking to him. Like, I didn't know him. We had just went on a date. Our very first date, I asked him. I said, this is going to determine everything. This is going to determine if I go on a second date, if I let him finger me. This is going to determine everything. I said, how do you feel about mullets? And he goes, uh, I don't, you mean the haircut? And I go, <laughs> yeah. He was like, just a haircut. And I go, hmm. Okay. He goes, I guess they're pretty cool. I go, all right. It was a C minus for me. I wanted him to say, oh, and this was before mullets were making a comeback. Yeah. Keep in mind, this was like 15 years ago, 16 years ago. He was like, if I, I wanted him to be like, oh my God, mullets are the coolest thing ever. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one. Yeah. But he gave me a half-assed answer and I continued to date him. And then later on, he was like, you were right. When you asked me how I feel about mullets, mullets are so cool. And you perked up. Yeah. So I get the, I get the um, test and waters to mm-hmm. see... Give him time. Yeah. He may come around. You may have had it on a boring part of the pod. Now, listen, not every episode is a banger. Not every moment of the pod is a banger. We know that. So thank you guys for the ones that stick with us thick and thin through the whole things. Thank you so much. But we have our moments, and he needs to hear. Exactly. So just keep playing them. Exactly. Every time he comes over, have it planned. Yeah. Have it planned. (laughs) He just he just stops coming over. Get him, get him a viral T-shirt. <laughs> yes, and be like, they're talking about you. This will get him. Yeah, this will get him. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, technically, we got him, <laughs> and you got him too. And you got him too. I would give him a little, give him a little more, give him a, a longer time. But yeah, if if he eventually doesn't come around, if he says something like, "Oh, they're too nasty," or "They're too this," bye. Yeah, you don't want him. You don't want him. Give him a, ch- a second chance, though, to listen for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. I love you for calling in and asking that. You are awesome. I wonder what part she played. I know. What if it was Todd a part where Damian. we're... Todd and Damien. Todd and Damien. What if it was a part where we're talking about, like, having a pussy lip for butthole? Like, he was probably like, whoa, huh. I'm out on this one. <laughs> Who knows? Holy shit. Good Everybody's time. different. Everybody's yeah. different. You're right. You well, are right. But we love you. Love you, honey. Thanks for calling in. Good luck. It must be a holiday miracle because the sponsors of today's show, Manscaped, are stuffing your stockings with everything the man in your life could ask for. That's right. This holiday season, Manscaped has vowed to make sure his ornaments are shining bright and his tree is standing tall. Mm-hmm. Spice up his stockings with gifts he'll actually use and something you can enjoy too. If you don't believe in Santa, (laughs) you better believe in this. They've changed 7 million men for the better. And you know we're all about doing better. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code viral. Ho, 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 fellas. Naughty or nice? Tis the season to perform. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to lie to you, and I'm not I'm not even trying to be funny right now, but I know it's going to come off funny. Um, if Greg's getting out of the shower, and I see that his balls are hairy, I get mad. Okay, it pisses me off. But guess what? I'm not mad anymore. I'm seriously not, because ever since we started using Manscaped, he keeps those balls fresh for mama, okay? Because he used to get cut up real bad. He used to didn't want to shave them because literally he would get cut up real bad. And ever since using Manscaped, he doesn't get nicks and cuts. The The little trimmer thing is like top of the line. 
Manscaped's best-selling package is the Performance Package 4.0. That was great. Inside, you'll find their lawnmower body trimmer. The dare I say, the best trimmer on the market for his balls, back, chest. I mean, the list goes on. And the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. Let's not forget their famous liquid formulas. The Crop Preserver, Ball Deodorant, and Crop Reviver, Ball Toner, to keep him smelling nice down there. Did I mention they're the perfect fit for any stocking? Listen, you're getting yourself a deal with the Performance Package. Order now to receive their two free gifts, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Ladies, this is the perfect gift for you and your man, okay? Trust me, he will thank you. Now, here's a couple of our picks uh, for stocking stuffers. You guys ready? The Manscaped Signature Body Wash, two-in-one shampoo. Ladies, this way he can stop stealing yours. Crop Mops Ball Wipes. Who wouldn't want ball wipes in their stocking, okay? The go-to solution for his stanky balls. These formulas are all vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free. So you know his manhood is in good hands. Make sure you hurry to their site to ensure these wild gifts show up before the holiday season. And while you're at it, get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with code viral get them something that they'll actually use and it's almost sure to get a laugh after all who doesn't like opening ball deodorant get 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code viral cheers to rocking the best gifts of all this season a gift for him but really a gift for you xoxo manscaped hey ladies and gents I'm calling with a new game that I'm hoping you all will play on the show going forward. And what it is, it's called Mary Fuck Kill. Heard of it. And what, what? how you play it is you pick three people and you have to pick who you marry, who you fuck, and who you kill. So... I'll give you the first three for okay. you uh, for you to pick. All right. Now, you get to pick from The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, mm-hmm. Hulk Hogan. Hulk. I'm writing them down, so don't forget. And Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> so, who are you going to marry? Who are you going to fuck? And who are you going <laughs> to kill? All right. Well, I want to hear your answers. Okay. Have a good day. Thank oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you. I've never heard of this game. Why did he sound like Jeffrey Dahmer? Did he? You know how Jeffrey Dahmer talked? Oh, like a little monotone? Yeah, like Just a little. Like That's slow. all I could think of really? listening to him was Jeffrey Dahmer. No. Because I, I was mean, watching the Jeffrey Dahmer tapes last night, so I was like, it's for, fresh on my head. For the first time? Yes. Ooh. Damn. It just, I think it just came out on Netflix. No, it's been out for a while. Has it? The tapes, the documentary. The tapes, tapes. yeah. It's been out for a while, even before the series. It was, oh, yeah. it was really good. Like, um, in the worst bl- way. Bless his heart for not assuming that we know the game Fuck, Mary Kill. A new game, he said. And I'm pretty sure we've already played it a bunch. Brother, I was playing Fuck, Mary Kill at five years old on the playground. Yeah. So would you fuck my dad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, yeah. The, yeah. The principal or Mrs. And, Maria. And he explained how to play it. Bless his heart. When you when he goes, there's a new game called Fuck, Mary. You go, uh, heard of it. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> Not new. Um, okay. Fuck, Mary Kill. The Rock, Hulk Hogan, or Dog the Bounty Hunter? <laughs> fuck, dude. All right, that was easy. I knew it before he even sit, finished it. Okay, hear, hear me out. I am going to, and this may be, it's not going to be a surprise to you guys. I'm going to fuck Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> and hear me out. Just to say, hey, <laughs> I fuck Dog the Bounty Hunter. I'm with you on that. I bet he's okay. a rough one. Oh, I bet he eats pussy like, uh, like he, oh my God. I bet he eats pussy the, by the fucking sound of his voice that motherfucker will just slurp that whole thing up dry 
drink it. Um, so I would I would fuck dog the bounty hunter. And think he can find things, he'll be finding that clit in no time. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh my god. That one made me sweat a little bit. Hey, if that that clit's hiding, he'll find it. (laughs) (laughs) He'll bust in there. He'll he'll find it. That was great. Um, Fuck Mary. I'm going to marry The Rock, and I'm going to kill Hulk Hogan. What would yours be? Yeah, dude, I don't know about Hulk Hogan's voice all the time. Kill him. (laughs) He's gone. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. The Mar- Rock seems Mar- the like Rock. a nice guy. He se- yeah, he seems pretty chill. Yeah. You but know. We're, are we on the same page? We're all fucking Dog the Bounty Hunter? Yeah. yeah. Cool. You guys agree? Yeah. Okay. Brett, what about you? Probably go with The Rock. Just He seems like he'd be more rock harder just because his name. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Mm, maybe. Okay. So. Solid. Yeah. I mean, if you marry The Rock, you're going to fuck him anyway. Right. That's how I look at it. Exactly. Exactly. Well, great game. I love playing that game. We should play it. <laughs> I love playing that new game. Oh, bless that guy's heart. <laughs> Maybe he's fucking with us, and he and he nut, which would be great. He's like, bless their heart, God, he for thinking us. that. Yeah, right, yeah. right. He got us. He got him. <laughs> he got you. He got us. He got you. Good what times. Good love times. Ya, love you, honeys. God, now I'm horny for Dog the Bounty Hunter. Hey, honeys. It's uh, Tom here. I uh, kind of finally got my shit together. I think I actually know what I want to ask you now. So it's first question. Essentially, I'm just going to go straight into it. I'm super germaphobic, and I do not want to get an STD, just like as one does. No one, no one wants that. As I'm getting older... I've become more, like, aware of it or just, like, concerned about it. Like, I feel like if I do get an STD, it just would ruin my life. I don't know. So my question is, if I'm interested in a girl that I don't really know, um, is it weird to ask her to get an STD test? Um, I would do it as well, obviously, and then we could just, like, both just say, like, hey, we don't have anything, let's go ahead and do it. Is that weird? In 2022, 2023, am I being weird? Is that weird? Again, like, I'm in my 20s. People hook up all the time, and I just feel that I'm so weird, like, being so hesitant to hook up with people because I'm so afraid of it. I don't know if I'm just paranoid, but, again, my question is, is it weird to ask a girl to take an STD test before you guys hook up? Thanks, honeys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Tom. I don't think it's weird at all. I feel like it's more normal now since yeah. so many people are just fucking, fucking and dumping and dipping. Yeah. And I personally would have no problem with that. And I'm putting myself in your situation right now. If I'm talking to you or a guy or whatever and we're, you know, whatever. And if me personally, if you asked me, hey, I know we're talking about hooking up, like, would you mind taking an STD test? I'll show you my results as well. I personally would be like, oh, hell yeah. Because that, to me, that shows like. You care. You care. Um, it. How do I put what I'm thinking? Like, like you know, he's being respect. Like, I would be like, I, I would feel more respect for the guy being like, oh, that's, I think that's cool. I would have no problem doing he's, it. Yeah, he seems like less of a fuck boy. Yes. In a way. Yep. Or he's good at uh, for uh, forgery. Is that yeah, forging. Anyway, huh? <laughs> huh? Forging documents. Like, yeah, like you forging can just forge, docu- forge that you passed it. You know, so he's smart. He's just or- gaslighting them. <laughs> I guess technically, if if he was a gaslighter, he could. But yeah, I think he's being sincere here. Yeah, he's, okay. he said he's a germaphobe. Yeah, I mean, and that's you too. I mean, if you fucking. You're right. afraid of that, then, and the person's like, no, I'm not doing that. Then. If the person is like, no, I'm not doing that, either I don't feel comfortable or it's weird you ask me, whatever, she wasn't the chick for you. He wasn't the dude for you. That's how I look or, at it. Or she has an STD. <clears throat> right. Which she should, have been, bullet. she should have been up front with to begin with. Um, I also, when you said, um, I feel like getting STD would ruin my life, I, I, I see what you meant there. Um, catching something that's just, 
would could possibly end your life i don't know so you know aids or whatever i understand what you mean by that also most stds you just take a pill if you get something like that your life is not over i just want to just throw that out there your and life a lot more people have stds than you think your life it would not be over a lot of people live with it you would be fine you don't have to sleep with a ton of people to get an std you can sleep with one and get one just want to throw that out there <clears throat> but <clears throat> your question is it weird if I ask for an STD test? I think no. And if you feel if you don't feel fucking comfortable with something, then just do what you want to do. Right. You know, just fucking do it. Right. Maggie, how would you feel? You're in the dating world. How would you feel if you're going to hook up with a dude and he asks for an STD test? I would do it. Yeah. Would you feel weird? Would you be weirded off by it? Would you be annoyed? Or would you be like, oh, okay, I'm, yeah. I have no problem. I wouldn't have a problem with it. And I, I'm i like y'all. I feel like I would, you know, respect him yeah. a little bit more and know that he was serious and mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe he's not sleeping around. That's true. And that's another thing. If she goes and gets an STD test and you're, and you start banging her on a regular basis, she could hop out. If y'all aren't, if y'all aren't, um, together, what's it like a, a like, uh, uh couple if y'all like, if y'all hadn't confirmed anything you know and y'all just casually sleeping with each other they could go sleep with someone else and yeah. bring something back so don't don't think that right. you know be still be careful that's what i was thinking too yeah <clears throat> that it's it, gotta be a fucking commitment if you're right. gonna keep fucking that person you you just gotta wear a condom to if you're that yeah. worried about it put a condom well, on. well condoms you, you can get you can shit with condoms too yeah. that's true that's true that's why everybody has something because <laughs> people be passing pussies around in dicks condoms aren't doing nothing you know what i mean mm -mm. so but i think that's a i think it's kind of cool to ask me too i, I sound like well, a I like a teacher cool or mom dude so many people just don't give a fuck about each other they're on tinder and bumble and grind or whatever just just trying to get that nut yeah. and then it's i don't i don't think i would could ever go back to dating really like on an app i could just all the people just fucking and what if you were really horny well <laughs> adamandeve.com no i i feel like i'd maybe just like to find somebody out and about yeah. at like well i think everybody wants to find somebody but sometimes it doesn't happen that way and you want to catch a nut in between dude you just hop at go to the nearest bar yeah that's true yeah or just put that satisfier pro on your clip yeah that's really what you yeah. need just a toy or you yeah. could just knit. Huh? Knit. Oh. Yeah, that gets me off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I think that's cool, honestly. And I kind of do feel like I'm like a teacher or an old lady, like or like a mom, like, ask for an STD test. You know what I mean? But I think that that's okay. You're Gucci. Yep. And we love you. Yeah. And good luck out there. Keep being safe. Hi, honeys. Um, I was just wondering if you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on Earth could hear at once, what would it be? I want to know what everyone in the room would say. So, like, Maggie, Brett, Chelsea, Paige, and if y'all have someone extra there, too. Um, I was interested to know. I think mine would be roll that beautiful bean footage. I think that would be mine. Anyway, love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Roll that beautiful bean footage. If we could say something to all 7.8 billion people in the world. <clears throat> Telepathically. I would say... You're doing great. <laughs> You're You're dude, that would pipe people up. <clears throat> um, that's oh, fuck, dude. I would just be like, "Hey, chump pays." <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh. What would you say if you had the chance to just speak to everyone? At I would once? just. I would just honestly say something like, um, "You're doing the best you can. That's enough. That's good enough, and everything will be okay. And you're loved." You're loved. Yeah. Loved for mama. Loved for mama. Hmm. Gosh. Well, you know? Yeah. 
something to like make people just feel good. Mm-hmm. But hey, chomp heads, if everyone heard <laughs> that at once. Paige, I love the way you say chomp heads. Chomp heads. <laughs> chomp head. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Hey, chomp head. Hey, chomp head. Uh, Get over here. I'd say lick your sister's <laughs> pussy. Can you imagine the world waiting for some <laughs> some signal that they they know they're everybody's about to hear someone speak like something's gonna ha- like like something's gonna happen. Like, everyone's looking up. Everyone's looking up, thinking it's gonna be God or <laughs> aliens or something like that. They're someone's gonna speak to us telepathically and tell us some things. Tell us, you know, and all of a sudden we hear. Lick your sister's pussy. <laughs> hey, chompeds, lick your sister's pussy. And they're like, huh? Uh, dude, I would uh, I would give a, an applause. Holy shit. That'd be cool. That would be the best thing to ever happen. Someone used that big of a situation to Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, well, I mean, come on. Everything's just fake anywho. So. <laughs> That's true. What's that going to What's change? one more fakey? You What's know, that one more fakey. <laughs> oh man, that was all. I loved that question. What would you guys say? Yeah, it's hard. It, it's really hard I because know. I know I've never thought about it. Yeah, and mm. I don't like talking to people anyway. So why would I talk to <laughs> billions of people? <laughs> yeah, Maggie, but I'd probably <laughs> fuck with them and say the aliens are coming or something. Oh, just no. to get them thinking. No, I would hand the mic to Maggie and she go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that'd be her. <laughs> you say it. What about you, Brett? Oh, uh, God. I, oh, yeah. Brett would go over his time limit. And <laughs> go. Like, maybe like, uh, don't be scared, put a rubber on the head or something like that. You should have said that to the last guy. Yeah, Brett, you're a call no, behind. I know. You're a call I just, behind. I was thinking about it. and you know, You're a call don't, behind. Don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. Anything like, else, Brett? Put a rubber Brett? on the head. So what about something else? Um, Let's see here. How about uh, be prepared? Oh, Ooh, that, oh, that, oh that, that, then that that opens a whole new telling yeah. 7.8 billion people to be, be prepared, prepared. Then it's oh, like, everyone's going to go, oh. well, yeah. all the toilet paper would disappear again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, everyone would be crashing and freaking out, uh, tweeting. Uh-huh. Tweeting. I know. <laughs> Losing their minds. I know. <laughs> if we heard be prepared, <laughs> I would be like, oh, okay. Everybody would be at Costco in line for that TP. Busting down. Everybody would be knocking out windows, uh-huh. just trash and shit. You can't yeah. say that, Brett. But yeah, then d- again, I've been told all my life, be prepared, and I haven't yeah. prepared for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Um, <laughs> no. I keep some canned goods in my... <laughs> I've and got I, some extra cans I, of corn. I, I keep batteries in the house. I love how Brett said, "Was like, what else, Brett?" He's like, "Be prepared." We're like, "No, don't yeah. tell people that." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You got? Well, you got one more, Brett? No, no, that was it. That was it. Try to Sorry. pull one out. Oh, another one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Good he beat. goes. Hmm. Wow. What if you could just be like? Oh, wow. <laughs> what if we just what, okay, yeah, yeah, what if you're in front of 7.8 billion people you got the mic you hold your phone up and you, they, they go go to oh, wow. hmm. <sighs> or maybe just something I'm like crying. <laughs> the blower horn i would be pissed oh on that one. Oh my gosh i'm gonna pee my pants i wish i, I had the diapies I, I need to put down a, a like a dog pad in my seat we need viral diapies, pink ones. I know. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, thanks for calling in, honeys. Love ya. Love ya. That was great. Hey, girls. So I have an idea for your podcast. What if you guys make a competition for your viewers and listeners? For example, like American Idol or I don't know who who's the next sound bite, you know? Just something like that, and then maybe have everyone make little videos and submit it to you guys, or make a hashtag for this contest, for this contest, and I don't know, have your viewers and listeners make a TikTok with the hashtag. I don't know. I just think that'd be a good idea. I, I would love, if you guys do this idea, I would love to join in on this competition. I don't know. But anyways, uh, love you, girls. Bye. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Bye. That's a 
freaking fabulous idea. I love it. Because you know what I was thinking the whole time she was talking was like, what if we got people to like create a short 30 second skit over anything they've ever heard on the pod? A story, a skit, like if uh, Todd and Damien, what if they redid that? What if they did their own lean back, lean forward segment? Just something like, and we just reposted them on our socials. Yeah. A That'd be cool. competition would be cool too. Like yes. all the listeners, like I love the American Idol type. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because there's so much fucking singing talent out there. It could give somebody a chance to mm-hmm. have their voice heard. Yep. Maybe um, even like a viral fucking jingle or. Viral jingle. Um, I'm thinking, uh, what did she say? Oh my gosh, she said something good. What was it? Um, I love the whole idea. We could do multiple things. We've tried to do something before because people wanted a raffle to like fly here or hang out with us or something. If we could do a big ass competition like once a year. That'd be cool. We have to still figure that out though because wasn't it like illegal? I don't even know what you're talking about. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Did we talk about this? I don't well, remember. I think we've tried to do something in the past where we're like, oh, we could do this and maybe fly somebody out and do this. But I think we had to do go through a bunch of shit. Oh, and I, I know what you're talking about now. Because she was saying have like a raffle yeah. or something, something to win a competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. I, I think there's lots of ideas there. They do it on the Dan Patrick show and each week... They have the competition go on and on and on, and they'll, they'll like eliminate people, have a final four, the last two, and then the, everyone will like decide on the champion. It's fun. Didn't you win? They, I entered a song, and then they made it their <laughs> what was it? Their theme song. Yeah, well, or, they just did a uh, segment on her, whatever. And yeah. now on their app, it's With just her like song. me singing in all of their studio, just in the background and stuff. Paige loves the Dan Patrick Show. I'm sure that was exciting for you. It oh, was. I was thriving. When I woke up and they played it, I was at my highest. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> then we should do something at the top of the year, like some sort of content. Something. Yes. Let us know in the comments, like, what what you, you know. Want to see. It yeah. could be art. It could be yeah. fucking your uh, stretchiness. Maybe somebody's really stretchy. Uh-huh. I like that idea. Where'd that Limber. come from? Just the brain, I guess. <laughs> I was thinking of limber people because, oh, yeah. you know, some people can, like, suck their own dick. Yeah, which is wild. And some chicks can literally stick Coke cans in their pussies and buttholes. And bust them. Badiana. And, like, the, what's this called? Like, a contortionist Contortion. yep. thing? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll call yeah. it a competition. And we'll call it competition. That's yeah. good, Brett. Good Thank job. You. Thanks. Yeah, let's do it. I love it. Great idea. Great little idea. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. I mean, that's great. Let's do it. Doing it. Hell yeah. Love ya. The holidays are awesome, but listen, oh, they can be really stressful too. Travel, last minute cooking, family coming in. I mean, I literally could go on and you know that. And something that keeps me chilling, Next Evo. A gift that can help take stress out of the holiday season. The holidays aren't all sleigh bells and mistletoes. They're also airports, shopping malls, traffic, lots of people, family, pets, messes, and all above. Give yourself the ultimate gift of stress-free holiday with Next Evo Naturals. Fast absorbing CBD products. Next Evo Stress CBD Complex gummies are clinically proven to have four times better absorption. That standard CBD, no other CBD brand can promise that. I pop one of these gummies in my mouth daily and I feel great. That's all you need. One of them. Mmm, the flavor. <sighs> Get your gummies. I personally swapped it out for my melatonin. I take it before I go to bed. Oh, sleep like a baby. And you guys know, in my opinion, and I've always said this, there's nothing better than sleep. Sleep over everything. And regular CBD only achieves 2 to 10% absorption. So really, over 90% of what you think you're getting, you're actually not. 
You're getting got. Next Evo Smart Zorb technology delivers CBD to your system in as little as 10 minutes, unlike other CBD brands. Help fight holiday stress with Next Evo Natural Stress CBD Complex Gummings, featuring ashwagandha, clinically proven to reduce stress by 70%. Ashwagandha and CBD work together to target the source of rising stress hormones like cortisol. Get smarter CBD from Next Evo Naturals and get up to 25% off subscription orders of $40 or more at nextevo.com slash podcast. Promo code viral. That's N-E-X-T-E-V-O dot com slash podcast. Promo code viral. Hey, honeys. Rachel here. Um, so this isn't really even about me, but I just had to share because I have no one else to tell. Um, so my best friend from college, she lives in Florida now. We talk often, but sometimes things just get lost in translation. She'll keep something to herself and tell me months later. Um, so she just told me a bunch about her recent ex. And basically, she found a used condom in his bathroom when they were dating. And so she like confronted him and freaked out and was like, you're cheating on me, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, no, I put condoms on my dildos. And she was like, what do you mean your dildos? And basically, he opened up a safe because he's a cop, of course. He He opened up a safe and inside the safe next to all his guns and everything were just like a box of dildos that he uses on himself. And he would like lock them up and hide them from her. And then once the secret was out, you know, he was asking her to peg him and all that kind of stuff. Um, They never got around to it before he cheated on her. But anyways, then I already knew that. But then she told me earlier tonight that he told her that when he masturbated, he'd lay on his back on his bed facing a wall and climb up the wall using a seat. So it puts him in like, you know, a bent little bean shape like pretzel and he would jizz in his own mouth <gasps> when he masturbated um yeah so just sit with that love you honeys oh yeah okay what's a pretzel dude <laughs> okay here's my thing <clears throat> wow <laughs> <laughs> when he when she found the condom and he said, oh, I'm not cheating on you. That's, I use condoms for my dildos. My thought was, bullshit, bitch. You're cheating. And when no, did dildos no, start coming? Nobody puts condoms on their dildos. Not that I know of. The fact that he had dildos, not a big deal. People have that. Dudes have that. Normal. I thought he's cheating on her. But when she said he climbs the wall with his feet. <laughs> Dude. To nut in his own mouth, I go, that's a guy who puts condoms on his dildos. <laughs> that's a guy who puts condoms on his dildos. <laughs> Fucking spider monkey. Whoa. Who does yeah. that? Maybe like the dildo is like easy clean. He doesn't have to clean it. He just pops off the, mm-hmm. I don't know. That's true. The reasoning on that. He's thinking <clears throat> ahead. Yeah, I have no clue. Maybe he's thinking of, maybe it's like a sanitary thing. Maybe it's a lube thing. But I thought, oh, he's cheating. But man, when she said he's just crawling up that wall and coming in and his coming mouth, in his mouth, dude, I'm sorry. How fucking cool is that to climb on the wall and then ha- aim your dick to nut in your mouth? That's wild. I'm thinking he's got those like cat attachments on his wall to make it, it e- to make it easier to get up. Yeah, like he, Yeah, like how's he climbing up there? And did he do this in front of her? How does she know he masturbates like that? <sighs> Dude, <laughs> I, I'm not sure on that one. But my one question is, uh, he said he put, she found cum in the condom, and then he well, said, no. "Yeah, because I put him on my dildos." Like, huh? That I didn't hear cum. Oh, she I just thought said she said she found a used con. Well, a used, but didn't have to have cum in it. That's it. Could have just been. Out of be the a good rappers. lawyer, I feel. Yeah. You know. Thank you. Just out of the wrapper. <laughs> I'm like, wait. I, I believe her. Yeah. Nobody yeah. said nothing about cum. <laughs> Seems fishy. <laughs> Does seem fishy, but also... <clears throat> and he was cheating on her. Well, yeah. we found that out. Yeah, so he, he was. So he he could have been the whole time. He could have been. Oh, um, yeah. It's just the wall walking for me. <laughs> Stop, dude. 
and gets into that pretzel motion. Every time I eat a pretzel, I'm going to be thinking of this fucking guy, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I want to see a a guy walking up the wall and and aiming in his mouth. I want to mm-hmm. see that now because I never thought that that was possible or that dudes did that. But now that I know, I got to see it before I die. She needs to and, send vids. And Greg will never. He would never. If I can you imagine, if I went to him. No. And I was like, "Baby, I, there's something I want to see." <laughs> he would go, "Shut up!" There's no fucking wall that could even hold Greg. <laughs> I think it'd be too much blood rush to the to, to his the head. And he's upside down. <gasps> uh, that's what I was oh. thinking. How do they nut when they're in that position? Maybe he gets close to nutting mm. and then quickly gets up there. I don't know. Oh, he's got away. He's got away. Does anyone else do this? Have you seen it? Have you heard about the wall walking thing? I would love to know. I just want to know, like, his cop buddies come over. Hey, uh, let's see your guns. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's just a fucking plethora. He's like, uh, one second, you guys go go out back and have yourself a beer. And I, he's in there cleaning out his cleaning out all of his boxes of dildos, all of his toys and oh, stuff, popping all the condoms off of them. Oh, wow, I liked, the, I liked it when the secret was out whatever huh remember she's all, oh secrets out like oh you oh. gotta peg me now oh so, oh yeah, yeah, found yeah. secrets out yeah which i still am dreaming of pegging greg would never let me <sighs> these are people that pull us over and give us tickets and shit they're <laughs> they're climbing i'm they're cl- never gonna look at a cop the same they're now. climbing walls they're and climbing in wall- their mouth and you know what it's not even the nutting in the mouth that's really funny to me that's not even the funny part. The fact that the motherfucker is laying on his back and climbing the wall to do it. When was the first time he did this? He's laying there. He's like, you know what? I fucking want to climb that wall and come in my mouth. Well, I used to do that. I remember huh? climb the wall. Well, you guys did that, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I you thought, guys have all done that, right? We've all we've yeah, all climbed a wall, but okay. not you know. I yeah. never turned upside down. Like to to climb like spider monkey in a doorway, easy. To climb upside down and be coming in my own mouth. No, Whoa. I don't think he's doing that. It's he more is forward. No, Brett, he's laying mm. on his back. Uh huh. Climbing the wall with his two legs. Right? Not uh, he's not uh, upside down, but he's climbing it probably at a. I don't know my degrees, but probably at like this angle, like a what, like a. Like a 90? Like a 90 degree angle. Mm-hmm. And then he's just nutting. Maggie said he's climbing up there with his two legs. <laughs> <laughs> like we know. And is he swallowing? Gotta I, be. I would assume. Gotta be. Yeah, you're not going to do all that to not swallow your own cum. You love your own cum. You're wow. not going to go through what? Yeah, you guys are right. About what? Yeah. Well, I know. I told her that he'd lay on his back on his bed yes. facing the wall. And climb up, and probably, climb up, probably yeah. at it like a whoa ninety degree angle, yeah, and then yeah. came. Brett went back and read it. <laughs> he goes, "Wow, you whoa, guys were I am right." A call behind. <laughs> this might be the most interesting person alive, <laughs> one of them at least. And I feel like she waited until they broke up to tell her friend. She's not going to tell her friend that when they're Can still you, together. Oh, hell no! Can you imagine dating a guy and you're like, and I'm like, Paige. You gotta. You'll never be able to fucking. You'll. Dude, you would the, never be able to bring him around. The first friends dinner. You're coming over. Like so. Heard you like to climb walls. <laughs> no, you're keeping that one in the vault. So after they fuck you over or something, you're and like, she, yep, <laughs> he did that. And her friend was like, oh, I forgot to tell you. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. She waited until he was gone. 100%, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Dude, I've been in that position. You're like, uh, you know, I've, yeah. I'm fucking weird for staying with him. Yeah. So I'm not gonna talk about it. Yeah. Makes sense. Climbing walls. Oh, I told you and Beth as soon as some shit happened. Yeah, you did. Right after you broke up? No. Or be in the relationship? No. During, right? During. Yeah. I would call the... Uh, you oh, can't, she called... You can't surprise me with nothing. Oh, you can't... I'm telling you, I've heard it all, seen it all. Well, here's the thing. But you stayed with him after? Oh, yeah, for a while. But here's the thing. We didn't like him before, so you had nothing to lose. So I would just call him and talk shit. <laughs> See, if we loved him and had a great relationship with him and you told me that, I'd be like, oh, you know. But the fact that we couldn't stand the motherfucker, we, she, she had nothing to lose by telling us the shit he was doing. Yeah, it's not like they... Would you guys, like, bash on him all the time and Maggie would just be like... Mm-hmm. No, not at all, actually. I didn't like even talking about him. Mm-mm. We really didn't talk about him. At all. At all. But when some shit would happen <laughs> like that, I would be like, what the fuck? You're not going to believe what I found? Or... And, the, and you found some shit. 
can you say? I don't want to. I don't. It's not good. Well, no, it's not like it's like bad or illegal or nothing. Climbing walls. Well. Kind of. He makes climbing walls look, <laughs> yeah. look innocent. Look like a walk. Yeah. <laughs> That's a walk in the park. Yeah. But, uh, Damn, I wish we knew. Yeah, she don't want to start shit, and yeah. I don't blame her. So, cause You don't know who's listening. Yeah, we know. don't know who's listening type of thing. We but, just keep it, we'll just keep it nice. But uh, but I was always on that phone. Oh, she was always calling me up and be, I'd be like, huh? Clicking. <laughs> she was on T9 just spilling the beans. Oh my gosh, you're right. That's what I was thinking about too. I was like, man. Yeah, you dealt with dude, some wild shit. Wild shit. Oh my God. God. I don't think I could ever be in a relationship like that. Like some people call in or message us like, hey, I just found a box of used panties from all these women. And like, oh. what should I do? I what just, should I do? You know, I would just tap out. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, box of used panties, yeah, that'd be a tap out for me. But, dude, Greg is the most boring dude in the world, in the bedroom. <laughs> I hate to say it. In real life, he's the most fun, crazy, blah, blah, blah. Here's Maggie dealing with the shit she's dealing with. And I'm trying to, like, spice it up. I'm like, hey, Greg, let's use a cock ring. And the motherfucker's like, oh, oh, I'm not putting that on my dick. Like, freaking out. <laughs> and I'm like, let's just try it. Let's Not a cock ring, but a... um. You know those rings they put on the for vibrate. the vibrate? Yeah, yeah, I think it's and a cock ring. And then cock ring. And then so I talked him into it, and finally he was rock solid when we tried this. This is you know, rock solid. I put the cock ring on him. The winner <laughs> the just cock sto- ring. I can't. <laughs> the winner just goes from hard to completely inside of his body in three seconds. Stop oh. with the inside of the body. <laughs> so Greg is not. I can't imagine Greg doing any of this shit. Uh uh-uh. uh He's probably walking up walls when you're away. <laughs> I no, I don't tell him what he's have, doing. Doesn't have time. <laughs> Greg true. is pretty flexible. I That's true. Feel. I would love to see Greg walk a wall. If I ever asked him, he would be... he. He'd... You should ask him just to see what he says. Yeah. <laughs> just ask him just to see what he says. All right. I'll... Or just say, have you ever tried to come in your own mouth? He'll be mad at me for even asking that. <laughs> even if he did, even if he did or has. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to answer. What are you asking me? Like, oh, yeah. He'd be mad for even asking me that. Hmm. Really? Uh-huh. You should... We should... Get him somewhere like when y'all are doing a mukbang in a car or something, and then just secretly record just to get his reaction. Oh, you're gonna piss people off. You can't see your core people. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your husband. Yeah, that's true. Makes it okay. <laughs> but that's your husband. <laughs> but that's your husband. That's illegal. He, well, he's all spilling the fucking beans, and then you're okay, thanks. <laughs> and then you come playing on the podcast. That'd be so funny. I would never. I would never. Oh, Definitely, shit. I would get permission. We but. would get f- dinged yeah. up for that one. Uh, yeah. We got dinged up for. I love getting dinged up. Keep it coming. All right. Love you, Spider. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> spider Monkey. Hey, honey. Uh, health related here. So I just want to say. Kelsey, I have never met in my entire life someone who also wears earplugs at night. I don't know how it started for me, but I was like a kid, and I just could not sleep without earplugs. And even now, it has to be like a certain kind of earplug. It can't be just any cheap shit because I can feel it and I can hear it, you know, like jingling around in there. My second topic is I have a weird health condition, and I want to know if anyone has heard of this or has it. So the women in my family, we are from British descent, and every single one of us, if we eat fish, our pussies and our pee will smell like fish, for about 72 hours. I recently went to England to visit family, and you know, in England, you eat fish and chips. And the entire trip, my shrimps were singing, and it smelled like fish. Love the podcast. Love you guys. Um, I'll be calling back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love you. Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> so where do i start uh mine smells like a like a you know three-day-old trout 
Almost 24 Oh, my. <laughs> Chelsea goes, my pussy smells like a fish basket today. Come in here and smell it. <laughs> in the stall. And the whole stall smelled like a fucking Joe's crap. <laughs> yeah. Um, earplugs. Let's start with the earplugs. I have to sleep with earplugs because years ago, like when Greg and I first got married, like I could, I mean, he snored all night and I could, I would literally, I literally got no sleep. So I started wearing earplugs and it just became, I've been wearing earplugs most nights for the last 15 years and I just use the little foam ones. Now that Greg's in California and I'm here and I'm sleeping alone right now, I don't wear earplugs, but if I'm like on tour and I'm in a hotel where I can hear like doors opening and lots of, lots of things going on, I'll need earplugs. I gotta have complete silence to sleep. Fuck earplugs. I hate them. For, for sleeping? Oh, they're. I can hear more with them. I've already said that on here, but I can, I can hear my too. heartbeat. I can hear my butthole throb. I can hear anything. Yes, and you get used to that. I get so used to it that you don't hear that stuff anymore. I like to hear the sound of the AC flip on or yeah. like the heater. I like to hear those noises. That's the thing. I love the sound of a fan, but I can't I can't listen to it, you know, with the earplug. I'd rather just be able to sleep. So hmm. Big earplug guy over here. Big earplug guy. And I hate it. You know, I wish I didn't have to wear earplugs when I sleep. Um, the whole pussy thing. I honestly feel like that's kind of normal because there's sometimes when I will eat fish and I just get a extra fish odor. Not in my piss. Uh, I don't eat fish, so I don't know about that. But when I eat like asparagus mm-hmm. or stuff like that, I or drink a lot of coffee, yeah. I smell it in my pee. You'll get, oh yeah, I'm, yeah. But Agree. I don't know if I like, maybe if I eat garlic, my pussy could smell like it, but that could just be what's left over on my fingers from chopping up the That's garlic. That's true. It really affects the way, what like what you eat, no matter uh-huh. what it is, uh-huh. it affects me. Oh, it affects Like you. if you eat ham, mm-hmm. holiday ham pussy, your pussy's going to smell like a holiday ham mm-hmm. for a couple days. Pussy. We've always said mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Hot ham, hot ham pussy. Ooh. The new hot pocket flavor. Ham, <laughs> ham, potatoes. What's that <laughs> beans, I got green, 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 beans, greens, greens. <laughs> and yeah. if you eat beans, like when we went and ate beans mm-hmm. a few nights ago, mm-hmm. I noticed it. Oh, the, what you eat affects your smell, it your skin, everything. your everything. Mm-hmm. Um, what you put in, yeah, it's gonna get the best of you. Exactly, comes out your pores. Uh huh. Yeah. When you sweat, dude, and I smell like garlic, it comes out. Yeah. But the fact that her, she says, my, me and my family, so they've all talked about this, which is great. They bring one friend that doesn't have that I know. smell. She's I like, know. I'm never fucking going back. I know. They the smelled like fish and chips. Her and her mom and sisters have all talked <laughs> about this. They were like, hey, let's go out to seafood. And they're all like, no. <laughs> let's go to Chili's instead. <laughs> oh, my God. Fish pussy Fish for pussy. 72 hours. That's what got me. Not even like right away and you clean it and you're good. They're stuck with that for 72 hours. We don't eat a lot of fish. No, we don't. We eat shrimps. Shrimps. We're, we like shrimps. Um, but fish-wise, I really only eat fish if I'm at a restaurant, like a nice restaurant, and I get mm-hmm. a nice piece of salmon or something. Is but it the right. actual pussy that stinks or like the... Um, the goo that comes out of it could be <laughs> don't say goo that comes out what's of it what's it called i forgot discharge, discharge. oh yeah discharge. discharge i could not think of it see i don't know if it's coming out of the pussy pores or if it's the discharge could be both could be either the goo <laughs> the goo raleigh's uh, gonna get sick <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god gooey gooey Louie. Ooh. Thanks yeah. for telling us that, though. Yeah. And know that you're not alone. Lots of pussy smell like fish. Mine does, even when I haven't had any. <laughs> fish tank. Fish tank. Does my fish tank need to be cleaned? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to go wipe it down. You need a net. Yeah. Exactly. Catch all those fish. Mm-hmm. What about shrimp? Does that do that to you? It doesn't to me. I... No, shrimps just make my asshole sing. Yeah. Shrimps just get my guts turning to where they're in there just doing a, a full, full-blown full dance and song. Just singing and getting me ready to just squirt. Mm-hmm. And not the good kind of squirt, the asshole squirts. I can't believe you squirt so much. Oh, I, yeah. That ass. <laughs> <Right? laughs> 
<laughs> Brett's going, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Just hit everything we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> just but Brett. Chelsea actually cleans it up. It's just she misses that 5%, I feel. The, the, of the squirt? The, 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 yeah. What do you mean? When you stayed over. You, she left dude. Okay, yeah, Brett. Little... Brett's brought this up ten fucking times in the last week. Probably because he had there... to clean it. No, I, did, I yeah. cleaned it. No, you missed like four percent. Okay, say. I, I didn't get up in there. How do yeah. you know that was me? Good point. It was probably sorry. Brett. You're a great lawyer. I'm yeah. a. Yeah, been, that's why you guys watch that Dateline mm-hmm. stuff and, mm-hmm. and always Lee be D. prepared. Yeah, so I can gotti. Be prepared. Always be prepared, mm-hmm. Brett. Yeah. But I love how we're talking about this, and you just hear Brett go, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Good times. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Thank you. Hi, honeys. Sinus infection here. So I know that you guys kind of do different types of, like, medicine or food that you eat and things like that. And I'm just really wondering what you guys do during cold and flu season because I never fucking see you guys sick and my ass gets sick every year with this shit and I'm kind of done with it so yeah what are you doing share the secret love you bye love you honeys love ya Aww. those are the worst to the sinus oh. <clears throat> infection I love this question because I feel like I do do a lot of stuff and I know people, not everyone, but people would look at me and say, oh, she's fat and she does two mukbangs a month. She doesn't worry about her health. Bull fucking shit, bitch. I am like, when I wake up in the morning, I have like a ritual of things that I do like for my health. Um, I have a cup of tea every morning and I've got, if you go in my kitchen right now, there's probably like 10 different types of like herbal teas. I'll have an herbal tea with, I have like a whole thing of... Oh my gosh, Chelsea! I'm getting parched. Sorry about that. I've got like a whole like section of like local uh, honeys and things I put in my teas, mushroom extracts. Um, I bottle silver. I I I take all that stuff, um, and I do that. I would say ninety five percent of the time, I'm having a tea every morning. Um, I if you open up my smoothie cabinet, there's nothing but like supplements, like for my smoothies, um, seeds and this and that. I take vitamins every morning. I take, um, I do my, uh, athletic greens. I do my athletic greens. I take, um, dude, I've got like, peptides. I take my probiotic. What? Peptides? No, oh. I take my probiotics. I, I literally in the mornings have a whole fucking ritual of things I do for my health to keep me from getting sick. Um, Garlic and honey is a huge one. Yeah, that's number one for me. That's number one. That will keep you from getting sick. Uh, I, t- I tend to get sick a lot. Not a lot, but when I'm uh, on, tour. on tour, I don't know what it is, but I will just get sick when I first started. So I started like basically bringing everything with me and doing the garlic and honey. And that's just how I... S- if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google like garlic honey remedy for t- to keep you from getting sick. I'm telling you, you take one clove a day, you won't get sick. Yeah, I eat raw garlic all the time. All the time you eat it. Oh, daily. Um, honey, for sure. And wherever you are, you can, I say get local honey if yeah. you have sinus problems because that's a lot of allergies too. Yeah. So get local, good, pure fucking honey don't be getting that bear mm-hmm. that fake don't be getting that fake bear honey <laughs> no that's not that, gonna that sugar me. and syrup <laughs> that's what that is <laughs> that will not do you good uh fuck a little what? manuka we oh drink, I, we, drink, we do manuka honey i do a lot of uh turmeric mm-hmm. and foods and just spoonfuls of uh, apple cider vinegar black pepper i do a whole concoction of stuff busting that, nuts what, what else do That's I do, for Brett? I, I never, I rarely get sick. You rarely get sick. And I <clears throat> I actually have in my um, ref, uh, refrigerator right now something called uh, fire, si- fire Cider Remedy. Um, and it is a, um, I didn't make this, um, 
but I had got the recipe for it. So I got it from a friend. I'm going to start taking it. And then I'm actually <clears throat> going to start making it. It takes six weeks to make. And it's apple cider vinegar infused with garlic, onions, jalapenos, cayenne, turmeric, cinnamon, clove, rosemary, and honey. It's a strong herbal medicine. And I guess you let that cook and ferment. And you're supposed to take like one spoonful a day. And you won't get sick. That's another thing. Cayenne pepper. Yeah. I drink that daily. And then I drink cinnamon tea at night. I know. The cinnamon sticks Mm -hmm. and put a shit ton of honey in that. And I'm not even a honey gal. I hate honey on toast and all that. But in a drink. In a tea. In a tea. You got to have it. Yeah. Get those cinnamon sticks. They're fucking good. Uh Uh Uh-huh. 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 So we do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. The cayenne pepper is really spicy. Yeah. Real spicy. So if you're kind of. Me and Paige are, are like. No, I wouldn't say health nuts. I'm 300 pounds. But. <laughs> <laughs> but we do. We go do like stuff. We do like treatments. And we, we, we eat a lot of like herbal stuff. And. Go to Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. I love teas too. Like a. Yeah. A green tea. And then there are some good mushroom teas out there. Yeah. We're big into mushrooms. I take mushroom extract. I do. I do mushroom vi- Did we just, I just love all that shit. It interests me. I do all the Paul Stamets yeah. from Fantastic Fungi. I do all of his vitamins. There's a Stamets 7. That That's what I take. like Agaricon, Rishi, Cordyceps for energy, and it clears up your skin. Like Brett started taking them. And he had lion's a, mane. He had a little mm-hmm. bit of back knee, and his whole back's just like cleared up. Was it black seed you were telling me to get? Black seed oil. Okay, I picked up black seed um, capsules. Ooh. Yeah. In Irwan, when I was in L.A., I picked up black seed capsules, so I'm going to start taking those. Yeah, I heard that was really Yeah. Good. My stepdad, who has cancer, is like going to start doing all that black yeah. seed. Because I know there's flax seed, mm-hmm. but this, this is a black, black seed. seed oil. Yeah. Yep. So there you go. Yep. And if you're really struggling and have a severe cancer and there's the last resort, Try RSO. RSO? Rick Simpson oil. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have heard of that. Just throwing that out there just in case. Yeah. I, um, oh, I just had something come to me in the own way. What were we talking about right before you said that? Rick Simpson. No, before Black that. Black seed oil? Oh, fuck. It went away. Cancer. No. Cinnamon, turmeric. Damn it. Cay- it's gone. Cayenne? Elderberry. No, it's gone. Oh, that, good. that did remind me. When I'm getting sick... Or I am sick, the last thing I do is, and the last thing I will go do is pick up like cough medicine because that does nothing for me. It does nothing for me. My, what helps me is like honey and garlic and that type of shit. So I'm just throwing that out there. Same. I never take ibuprofen. Yeah. Ty- I never do that shit because. Do you get headaches? Nope. Nice. I'll do the oils. I never trusted those till it worked. But then the fucking ibuprofen. Well, I guess sometimes if I have a super, super, super bad headache, yeah, that's when I know I'm hurting, I'll take one. But I and try to stay away from all of that. And an orgasm helps, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let him, but let th- him loose. This is what works for me, so I'm not telling you you have to do it. Work, Use what works for you. Lots of sleep, and also, because <laughs> I've been getting sinuses bad here in Nashville, rubbing your freaking face and getting that lymphatic drainage out and like you, you'll see go online and look up lymphatic drainage mm-hmm. in your face and you'll get some at least some tension out of your fucking nose mm-hmm. oh that's the worst tension feeling. out of your fucking nose <laughs> 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 it's uh, the worst when it's all clogged and yeah i love hurts. it when she rubs my face it's so good it starts hurting. So that was our long spiel of about honey and tea. They're going to have a list I know. that fucking long. Yeah, so that's what works for me, honeys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I tend to get sick on tour, so I had to start doing all this stuff. Well, I've actually been doing most of it for my whole adult life, but the the whole garlic and honey, that's kind of new. So it's been working. So You need sleep, though. I don't. I would be getting sick, I think, on tour. Yeah. Good job, hey, honey. honey, sleep here. Hey, honey's world tour traveler comedy legend here. Oh, when's this gonna be? When's this gonna be posted? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I've announced tour. 
whoa, go get your tickets here. I'm going on tour. So um, I don't have my tour dates in front of me right now, but go ahead and look up. You know what? No, I'm going to read. I do have them in front of me. Hold on. Yeah, read them off. I want to hear. Hold on. Let me read these tour dates, you guys. Oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't start the pod with this. I forgot. I've had a lot going on. Um, Tour dates. We are heading to. Everybody ready? Richmond, Virginia, Charlestown, West Virginia, South Carolina, West Palm Beach, Florida, Tampa, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Point Verde, Florida, Albany, Georgia, Pensacola, Florida, Dayton, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan, Chicago, Milwaukee, Green Bay, Madison, St. Paul, Minnesota, South Dakota, Austin, Texas, Houston, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Springfield, Missouri, Columbia, Missouri, Indiana, Mount Vernon, Kentucky, Boston. New York City, Pennsylvania, Tulsa, and Dallas. Wow. <sighs> Holy. You're going to do that in a span of what? Uh, Less than two months. Month and a half. Two months. God. Ooh, you we better start, get that fireside fermented. We fart. We, st- we fart. <laughs> we fart. <laughs> we fart. <laughs> we do that too. We do fart. We start... Um, for March 9th and we end uh, May 14th. So a little over two months. Yeah. Damn. Yep. So that's going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm working on new material. There's going to be some regular material that you've already heard that's kind of been spruced up and there is going to be some new material and I really hope to see you guys out there. Woo. Love ya. Congrats. Thanks, honeys. Hey, honeys. Board here. Um, just quick question. If you had to pick one appetizer to eat at every meal for the rest of your life, what are you picking? I've been thinking about it, and I want to say like a dip, but I'm going to be 100% honest. I think I'm going to say cheese sticks. I love cheese sticks. Always have, probably always will. Anyway, um, just uh, wanted to get your input. I love an appetizer. All right. Hope you guys are doing good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hope you're doing good, honeys. Love you. Thanks for calling in. I love how she said, I love cheese sticks. <laughs> Y'all, am I not a big appetizer guy? Mm-hmm. I'm the one at the table ordering like five appetizers for the table. We'll if start a- saying what we want. Chelsea's like, yep, I'm ordering that. Chelsea will get everything tallied up for the whole table <laughs> yeah. to just order it for yeah. us. Because we're like, what does this mean? Yeah. And it's some sort of cheese we've never heard of. They're like, Chelsea, what is Gouda? <laughs> what is Gouda? Um, I'm a big dip guy. I'm a big soup guy. But if I had to have one appy for the rest of my life, I'm going to go with a wedge salad. Mm-hmm. You know I love me a wedge salad. Yeah. The blue cheese, the ranch, the boiled eggs. Oh, yeah, that's what you would do. Oh, there's nothing better. Damn, I think I'd do the avocado egg girls <gasps> from Cheesecake Factory. Those are bomb. Mm, that sounds so good right now. Yeah. What about something that's not specific to one restaurant? What about something in general? Uh, probably a salad then with hmm, with uh. The meat, the orange dressing. Oh yeah, it, it's a ginger dressing mm-hmm. from an Asian restaurant. So that mm, I could eat that every fucking day. Yeah, because I did. My second pick would be a warm bread basket and butter. Mm-hmm. Uh, not for me. No. Nope. Okay. What about you guys? <laughs> I love that. There's I like was a... thinking about the Brussels sprouts from Cheesecake oh, Factory, but yeah, yeah. that's. That's also kind Just of a side. Kinda, yeah. And that's Pacific. Yeah. Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do Problem? chips and... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Brett. Go ahead. Uh, chips and guac. 100%. Do, yeah. That was pretty good every day in Mexico. You, you don't have to ask us. I didn't know if I could do chips and guac. You can do whatever you want. Okay, let's... I'll go with that. I get chipped out. Oh, no. I can go eat, have I Mexican chips, food yeah. and eat chips and salsa. Eat 10 pounds of it. Crunchy. Not me. Hmm. Interesting. I love guacamole and all that, but I like just, I don't know, more hearty. Yeah. I love appies. I'm the type of person, literally, if I go to a restaurant, I'd rather order three or four appies 
if me and Greg will go out to eat, we'll order like three or four appies and like split and won't even order like a main meal. And that's like perfect. Because by the time you're done eating your appies, oh. you don't even want your entree. And I like to try a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. I like to try like, that's why I love tapas restaurants. Everything comes small. You can order a bunch and try it. If I get order one thing and I don't like it, I'm like, dinner's That's what rug. they do at tapas? Yeah. Or, I've never been there. I've just seen the sign. Oh, we got to go. A tapas restaurant is like, um, yeah, everything, you, you don't order just one thing. Everything comes like in small plates and it's shareable. So you can order, if all four of us went, we'd order like 10 things. Ooh, yeah. I would like that. Mm-hmm. And you get to try everything. That's what I like. You would love eating with my Asian family. Just yeah. sharing everything. That's, I love it. Love sharing. Love, we love eating around here. Love Sharon Osborne. Stop. Who the hell is that? You don't know who that is? You don't know who that is? People were saying I looked like her with that red wig. Oh, that you wore in the pot a couple weeks ago? You did. That's funny. You don't don't know who that is? Damn, was she on that reality TV show with those kids and the husband? It's Ozzy Osbourne's wife, Sharon Osbourne, but she also is like a TV personality. She's hosted shows, yeah. Sharon Osbourne! Oh, that one? (laughs) You don't like her? The voice. Oh, yeah. Sharon Oz- Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Ozzy. Ooh. Yeah, that's her. Okay, I've seen her. Yeah. My mom used to watch. Yeah. The talk or something. She I had think a, she was on. She was on something I can't remember. You didn't watch that? No. I don't know. Uh-uh. I know she's been on things, but I don't know. I don't know much about her, but all, all I know about her is Ozzy. Oh, that. And I'm Sharon Osborne. That's all I know. So I can't do that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's skip. God bless her. Let's keep going. Yep. But okay. Thanks for the beautiful appetizer question. <laughs> hey, Tom <Ben>. Ben. <laughs> oh man, horny mommy here. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I had a baby about four months ago, and you know when you have a newborn, it is hard to find time to get down and jiggy with it. But my husband and I, we listen to the podcast, uh, love the podcast, by the way. Um, We had the idea to do uh, something called Sexy Christmas, Mm. where we found a babysitter for the baby. She's out of the house, and we're getting, uh, or we got um, Santa lingerie. We got a sex swing, all of these, like, fun sex toys. And Mama's getting lucky tonight. I thought y'all would like to hear that. So wish me luck and Merry Christmas. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Busy night. Oh, honeys. That makes me so happy. Glad she found the time to just let loose. Mm-hmm. Spread them. And with a new baby and just life, I'm sure it, it is fucking hard to, you know, but they got, the fact that y'all are making it a priority, hey, like, hey, we're getting a sex swing and we're fucking. <laughs> it might spice shit up, like, because you go from being able to kind of do whatever anytime yeah. and then you have to make time for yeah. it. Yeah. Could add a little spice, I guess. Right. So I'm happy for you, honey. I hope you nut. Hope you get on that sex swing and do some stuff. Mm-hmm. How does a sex swing actually work? I'm gonna be honest. I Brett, you take this. Take this one. Well, I thought it was just like something that's in the ceiling or something. And, and then you you set it and forth. And maybe yeah. you, no. Oh. I may be wrong, but it does hang from the ceiling or hang yeah. from something. <laughs> and then you get in it, and maybe your legs are spread. You're like weightless, and and then kinda, he can just like ram the per. It. Yeah. yeah, the somebody can come up and just like and just yeah. Okay, so you're like a glory hole in a way. A but, moving glory hole. Yeah, yeah. With no wall. <laughs> <laughs> you're no, just you're just a person in a swing getting fucked. You're, you're just, just in the air. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen some though. They're not all from the ceiling. It's you know like kind of like a uh, hammock, hammock mm. on oh. a stand. That mm. makes more sense because I wouldn't trust no ceiling. Can and you don't want to leave it in there permanently, like Whoa. with the kids and stuff. Some of these are true. wild. That's true. Just Google sex swing. Hmm. Some of these are like a wild concoction. I'm down for it. But what? Uh, Yeah, just don't want the hole in the ceiling. 
Oh no, this but is. I want the hammock. If you guys saw this picture I'm looking at, y'all would fucking die right now. Can I take a gander? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that Holy shit. Just Google shit. sex swing. Nobody's nude or nothing. Nobody's doing anything, but it's just funny. <laughs> That does not look comfy. No, it does not look comfy at all. Uh, wow. That's wrong one. Oh. oh. Like that. That one? Mm-hmm. It just Google sex swing, y'all. It's, yeah. That Th- one would be fun. These are wild. I feel like my thighs would be burning if in the one yeah. Chelsea just showed me. Mm. Just and sit they, in it for a little bit. They yeah. look like they take up a lot of room. <laughs> look, <laughs> look this the most was, comfortable one. Yeah. Whoa, this one's taking up the whole bedroom. Well, that's like a jungle gym set. Yeah, right I mean, these, these, you can, you need to have a whole sex dungeon for all this shit. That's yeah. for an orgy, probably. The yeah. jungle gym. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's pretty sex cool. Swing, sex swing rental. Whoa. Oh, I would not want to. <laughs> nah. That's something I don't want to rent. Let's try it. Hey, babe, can you uh, can I use your truck? Uh, don't go anywhere Saturday. I'm picking up the sex swing. <gasps> for Saturday it's gotta night. got to be back by 3 o'clock. Tomorrow. That's oh, sex swing rental. Wow. There's no way they're getting all that cum out of the rope. Uh, stop. Yeah. Stop. Ooh. Oh, Hell no. No. Yeah. I never heard of the sex swing rental. Oh my God. That's funny. All right. Well, but C- Connie's enjoy that sex swing. I hope she gets railed. Oh, she will. Are you kidding me? She Leg- seemed excited. Legs yeah. will be up in this thing. She does seem so excited. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for her. <sighs> Gets a little piece of that life mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. Good job, honeys. You're doing great. Love you. Merry Christmas. Hello. I have a would you rather for you guys. Now, I can't take credit because this is from the game Pick Your Poison, but my family and I played this over Thanksgiving, and we are pretty split. Would you rather... Always have a family member watching anytime you have sex or have to furiously masturbate over the casket at someone's wake. <laughs> Can't wait to hear your answer. Oh. Thanks. Bye. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Would we rather, every time we have sex, have a family member. Did she say dead family member? No, just have a family member oh, watch you oh, fuck. Watch us fuck. Or would we rather masturbate over someone's dead body in a casket? In a casket, just one their, time at their funeral. That's what I'm thinking. It, that's what I'm thinking. Is it one time, or is it you know? Me personally, so disrespectful to masturbate over someone's coffin. I couldn't do it, even though it just once. It just depends who it is that's dead. Well, you got me there. Because if it was you, I'd be doing <laughs> that's it. That's true. No, you got me. Because that's, you're right. If it was a stranger, I didn't know him, I couldn't do that. But if, if it was someone that I knew that would think it would be cool, you're right. <laughs> More fun with the stranger, though, maybe. Well, they I, might that, come back and haunt you. That's a disrespect. That's on another level of disrespect. Yeah. You know? But if it is someone that we know and that would get a kick out of it, I could nut. You're right. I didn't think about that. Oh, no, just looking at you or just looking at somebody? <laughs> like, do you have to look at them? I don't know. <laughs> just look at it. I don't. Just look at I'm around. assuming it's an open casket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, <laughs> well, so here's my thing. Would you rather, if it is a stranger or someone that I don't think would be okay with it, I could not disrespect them in that way. I'd rather have a family member watch me fuck. Maggie, you can do it. Just just sit quietly and watch it. Okay? I could I could handle that. I could go through with it. Now, if it was someone if it was you, I would nut on your casket. Just the one and done's kind of easier. Yeah. Just to get that fucking nut. So you you would nut over someone's casket regardless of who it was? Even if it was a stranger or like an old high school teacher that you really respected? I mean, you res. Ugh. Would you use a clit sucker? You think is that? What- <laughs> I would just shove that clit sucker in my pants and just go to the f- the funeral. Well, this is a would you rather? They said over the casket. We're doing it the way they asked. Come on, guy, big do dee do dee. I'll just I'll just do it in front of the casket. Wow. Every time I can't be calling somebody over. Every time I'm gonna fuck. Yeah, y'all have too much sex for that. 
If y'all were like me and Greg, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> but y'all fuck like every day. So that would get annoying. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> You're right. Does Greg listen to our podcast? Hell no. <laughs> no, he does sometimes. I know. Sometimes he'll catch me off guard. Yeah, he will sometimes. Scary. I feel like he's my dad. Really? Sometimes. He has that dad feature like. <laughs> yeah, he really does. He's lurking on us. <laughs> watching. Ma'am? He's watching. What, Brett? Ma'am. He said ma'am. <laughs> Stop. Ma'am. Ma'am. Roger. Tell him. <laughs> Greg, Greg's dad, love him to death. Is he's a little hard of hearing, and if you're if you say something to him, instead of him going, "What did you say?" or "Excuse me," he'll go, "Ma'am." <laughs> he'll turn his ear towards you, put his finger on his ear, and go, "Ma'am." <laughs> so, but he does it a lot, a lot. And sometimes we'll be sitting there watching TV, and no one's talking, and he'll just go, "Ma'am." <laughs> Do you go? It was the TV. Yeah, I go. I didn't say anything. Ma'am. Oh. So so now we kind of it's in, in our family. We'll just go, ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. So that's good. That's a good one. We latch on to the weirdest shit. <laughs> Wear it out. Oh, sorry, just spit. That's okay. It's all right, Damn, honey. Something I had something in my head. Hmm. Hmm. Went away. Do y'all like tootsie rolls? Oh yeah, hell yeah. I feel like as a kid that was my shit, and now. I'll pass it up. Mm-hmm. They, they probably changed. changed. Yeah. They did change. I swear they're harder. All the candies are changing. But anytime those suckers with the stars on them, I was getting the brown Tootsie Pop. Oh, the, always the brown ones. Always the brown. Mm-hmm. Fuck the red, orange, uh-uh. blue, Never. purple. Always brown. Mm, the flavor. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Gosh. I was standing in line like, I might get the store. Dude, there was nothing better as a kid. Especially because we didn't get to do this a lot. Because we were broke as fuck. But the rare few times we did get to do it, there's nothing better than being a kid and getting to go into a convenience store and picking out candy. I know. I tried to do that with my nieces and nephews because I remember the feeling of mm-hmm. holy shit. Oh, it's the, oh my gosh, there's nothing better. We'd go to, what little place was that in Marietta? Jiffy Jim's. No, but it wasn't Jiffy Jim's. It was, you know that stone one it was one behind it hilltop hilltop we'd go to hilltop and they had a uh icy machine there was the only place in town that had an icy machine no you're talking about 50s cafe yes 50s cafe that one we'd go to 50s cafe in the summer after softball games uh-huh. or after softball practice when we were real little and we'd get a uh, we'd get to get a, a icy and uh we'd get those pops and we'd try to find the ones with the um the star the star on it to get a free one yeah. and then we'd I'd get the brown ones joyous time that what a joyous time good in our times lives. and it only happened a couple times that's what i'm saying this it wasn't no we were so poor like this was not like a this is if you won your softball game this is beat. like a big this was a big deal yeah. to go and get an icy and a sucker was a big deal big deal yeah and i would cheat i'd kind of you know oh. flip over open <laughs> that wrapper yes. like is yes. there a star on that uh-huh 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 <sighs> yep good times man if you ain't cheating you ain't trying <laughs> whoa got uh, that free sucker gotty you've been got me since you were little i'm getting some of those tootsie pops after this pod because i'm craving it now mm-hmm. we'll keep a little basket right here <laughs> no, they're gonna hate the i know we're gonna be smacking <laughs> on suckers the, the couple pods ago i was eating those candies at the end and somebody messaged me goes please don't eat any more candy on the podcast and i was like okay okay honeys i, I saw some of those there ain't no more recess i was like okay i know they do not like the although I was some try- people love it i was I trying know. to sit back here but depends on who you are yeah chelsea's a smacker when she eats didn't know that <laughs> huh didn't know that how do you not know that do you upload your own mukbangs? Oh, I'm I'm a pristine, clean mukbanger. I get comments all the time saying, "You are, thank you for not smacking, thank you for not having shit all over your face, thank you for keeping your mouth clean, thank you for not talking with your mouth open." I am a A plus when it comes to mukbangers on YouTube. I am top of the line. Okay, then it just must be uh, in human life. Yeah, around maybe us. it's Greg when it when, when I'm not recording. Yeah, yeah, that's when the yeah, smacks come. Yeah, a little lazy hmm. with it. Yeah. Okay, didn't know this. Thanks, guys. I never noticed it. Hmm. Keep your ears peeled. You guys kind of smack before you eat. I feel you go, and then <laughs> that's Greg. 
Yeah. I didn't know none of this. I yeah. didn't I didn't know y'all felt this way about me. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. The truth is coming out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, it's no it's no way I feel. I can just hear it. Hmm. It's, it's not a feeling. It's just to get ready. Are your ears really sensitive though? No. Hmm. I just can hear when people call, eat. Call me out next time. I'd like to know. I'll just film it. <laughs> Secretly. Okay. Secretly. Like what you're gonna do to Greg. <laughs> hey, you've been climbing up those walls. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Good times. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, honeys. Inflation has all of us thinking about ways to cut back. With gas prices all the way up, kind of just makes me want to stay home, to be honest. And that's sad. Whether it's driving less, dining out less, or buying less from the grocery stores, we can all agree there's nothing fun about less. That's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. Upside, you don't have to cut back, okay? Because I get cash back on every purchase. On tour, we fill up our tanks a lot. You guys, you guys know I do a lot of driving, okay? A lot of money in gas. I don't even want to talk about how much money in gas I spend a month. But honestly, when I'm on the road, I feel a little bit better knowing that I'm using the cash back on food, on eating out. Because I can't cook in the suburban, you know, (laughs) going from city to city. I can't do that. So we eat out a lot. And it's kind of almost pays for itself, you know, like using the cash back for food. (laughs) Can't go wrong with that. To get started, download the free Upside app, use my promo code VIRAL, and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you are buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid back. Download the free Upside app and use promo code VIRAL to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using promo code VIRAL. Hey honey, sad here. Um, I kind of hope you play this because I'm in like desperate need for advice. Um, so at the end of October of this year, I packed my stuff and my child's things, and I left my husband. I did not leave him because I didn't want to be married to him anymore. I left because I wanted him to see that the life that he was choosing to live wasn't worth losing his wife and his daughter. Um, He had been partying a lot, um staying out until 6 o'clock in the morning, um, and then he wouldn't tell me where he was. So I left. He'd been smoking a lot, which I do not have a problem with. In fact, we were at a marijuana plant. Anyway, but, like, it was getting to the point where he was doing it in our house, well, our apartment that we rent, and we could have gotten in trouble. Anyway, um, we talked every single day, every single day. And two weeks ago, today is December 9th, two weeks ago, we were talking about marriage counseling, how we were going to try to make our relationship stronger, work on our communication. I needed to work on not just getting up and leaving when something bad happened. And he needed to work on growing the hell up, basically. Um, And with really... um, We work in the same place, but I found out he's been sleeping with a co-worker, and him and that co-worker have been coming into work with hickeys all over them, but literally two freaking weeks ago, he wanted to make our marriage work, and my daughter is devastated because she misses her dad, and he doesn't even bother with her. He saw her today for the first time since we left, and that was because she happened to be where he was. I just need help because I cannot get over this man. And I've been with him for five years, and I'm grieving the man that he used to be, and I don't know the man he is now, but I just want the man that he was. Sorry for crying. I know you hate it. But anyway, just freaking help me because I'm going to lose my shit if I don't lose my job (laughs) because I just want to beat her head into the locker room, honestly. (laughs) Anyway, love you, honeys. Please, please play this so I can have some advice because I'm lost. Love you. Oh, yeah. And she even threw in a whole yeah after that call. 
gosh, I feel for her so. Oh. Honey, I, I don't hate crying. I said something about crying forever ago, and people clung to that. I don't hate crying. You should you should be crying. You have every right to cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's it's the coworker thing for me that you have to see her. Oh, but don't don't just mm. even though she's a fucking homewrecker, piece of shit, motherfucker. Uh. You can't blame yeah. her as much as you should be putting the blame on your husband because he yeah. he's the one who went with it. He He's the one who knows that he's married and has a kid at home. And so that's on him. He is the one responsible for ruining what you had. Mm-hmm. And he's just and not he, a good guy. Here's the thing for me. Yes, honeys, the cheating's horrible. You you shouldn't have to go through that and feel that way. It's the him not caring for his child for me. To me, that proves what type of person he is um, and what type of man he is um, and what type of character he has. Exactly. Uh, and that would be more of an issue <laughs> for me. Um but I, it's so easy for us to also say, leave leave his ass, he's a piece of shit, he, which he probably is. Um, but also, I totally understand you wanting to make it work for your family and wanting to make it, you know, um, you took vows and you want to make, I, I understand that. And you have a kid together, been together for five years, but. You're in the yeah. toughest situation of your life right now. It's like, do you give him a second chance and move on and then he does this again freaking a couple years down the road right and she said he was staying out partying till <sighs> 6 a.m oh my he god not telling yeah. her where he was he seems very self-centered and mm-hmm. in my opinion you can do better yes and you know you said i would I, i'll miss who he was man people change and sometimes not for the better and sometimes living together and moving forward with a relationship, you figure out who that person actually is. Like right. maybe he put on a front those first couple years and you thought he was that person, mm-hmm. but he's not. Right. He's the person you see now hurting you and cheating on you. And exactly. I feel like in my eyes, it will not get better. I've but always said, I don't know. I've always said, would you want this for someone else? Would you want this for your best friend? Would you want this for your sister? Would you want this for your daughter? Would you want that relationship for them? If not, you shouldn't want it for yourself. True. That's good. But it's hard, man. It hurts, dude. Yes, that's the that's the part. You had this life you thought you, you know, building a life and then bam. having some having someone fuck you over. <sighs> fuck you over. With a kid, it's horrible. I, I think you should do what's in your gut. I think you know what you should do, and I honestly think you should go with what your gut is telling you to go with. Honestly, and it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for a while. For me, I, I know in my brain, I'm like, okay, he cheated on me. I would have trust issues if I stayed with that person. And then that's not a good relationship to have when you're always on edge and always on, you know. So yeah, like, is he cheating? Like, you you don't want to feel that type yeah. of way either. Yeah. Damn. But uh, just because you have a kid too doesn't mean other people won't want you. You know, oh, even yeah. if you bring, you know, just for the future, like yeah. you you can you can find somebody who cares for you and yeah is there for you. Love that. Agree, Paige. That's a tough one, honey. I feel like there's no right answer. There's nothing that you, you know, there's no, there's no, it's a shitty situation no matter what. And it's going to be hard no matter what road you want to take, you decide to take. (laughs) It's going to be shitty and hard no matter which way you decide to go. And we just wish you all the best and always trust your gut. Do what's right for you and your daughter. Yeah. We love you, honey. So sorry, honey. So we love you. Cry your heart out. Hi, honeys. I just heard a really good would you rather. Okay. Would you rather have your entire online search history for your whole life made public 
like everything you've ever looked up or have everything you've ever talked about with your closest friend publicized, like as a transcript of everything you've talked about with them. Okay, love you guys. Nervous here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Would we rather have our Google search for all eternity put out there? Tilly's barking. Or would we rather have personal conversations put out there? Either way, I'm fucked. But uh, <laughs> probably my uh, search history because it's not as personal. Yeah. I'm going to go with search history as well because if you look at my Google search history, it's nothing but best restaurants in Dallas. <laughs> Where to eat at in North County. Like it's just nothing but like restaurant searches. <laughs> we should go read our top, our f- first five Google. Okay. Let's see. I'll read it right now. I'm nervous. Me too. Okay. Holy. Ready? My first one is sex swings because I just, <laughs> sex swings and then i've got um a uh, green cowboy hat because i saw a lady in the airport last night wearing a green cowboy hat and then i have houston texas sweatshirt because i saw one in the um i saw a really cool one in the airport and they didn't have my size so i googled it and then i have ebay and then best restaurant in chicago <laughs> Best restaurant in Chicago? Well, because we have a show there, and there's this um, restaurant I want to go to. Um, and so I was looking it up. Damn, you're planning. Oh, I'll plan ahead of time. <laughs> that I, We're the exact opposite. What you that. got? What and you I got think, I, hold on, the planning thing, I was talking about it with Jasmine the other day because we just do shit last minute. Mm-hmm. And I think because our parents are such planners, mm-hmm. Like, my dad will call me six months before a trip, like, just getting ready for this trip. This is the route I'm going to take. This is what I'm going to do, eat, Whoa. stay. And I think they did that to us so much that we're like, yeah. fuck it. We're just going to go with the flow and just hop on a flight last minute. Or- I don't blame you. I'm not that bad. I don't like to plan that bad, mm-hmm. but I do like to plan restaurants I want to try out if I'm going to be in a city. That I will plan. But in terms of other stuff we do, I don't care. Yeah. All right. What's your top Google searches? Come on. Give them to us. Okay. Gray, long haired cat. Okay. (laughs) Um, Damn. Who the hell? What is it? Manuel Ponce. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked the Google thing. Okay. Search for, I started my period in Spanish. Oh my God. (laughs) Crab legs in Spanish. (laughs) It's all from the trip. Uh, get out leche in Spanish. Come in Spanish. Oh, my God. Was that five? That was great. Yeah, you got them. Dude. Good times. And Mandela art. Good times. Hmm. Yeah, Google search for sure. I wouldn't want any, any personal. Yeah. Not that it's personal, but it's different. Conversations are different. You could just say shit. You have feelings in those, you know? Like, yeah. So, thanks for calling in, honeys. Hey, honeys. Josh here. Um, I heard y'all talking about shrooms on an episode. And, you know, I love the fuck out of some edibles. But I've never done shrooms. I heard y'all talk about it. And I heard Rogan talk about it and shit. And I'm interested. Um, Is there any tips or info I can get on trying shrooms or I don't know where the fuck to get them I mean do I I ask my weed people I mean what but uh I I just wanted to get y'all's opinions or tips whatever you know uh and I guess I could take one for the team you know I love you guys so much I would eat y'all's pussies if, if you just let me just let me know when and where I love you guys so much the podcast is awesome and Oh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> the horn stop oh my god we gotta have him eat our pussies was he a truck driver oh yeah it sounded like the yeah did you hear that horn <laughs> dude that was awesome 
I loved him. Just his whole vernacular. He's like, I don't even know where the fuck to get them. I know. Hmm. Where do you eat shrimp? I mean, we're talking about the the psychedelic shrimps. We're not talking about like the mushroom supplements we were talking about earlier and stuff. Yeah, no like uh, portobello, <sighs> no reishi. No. This is like. No portobello. This is the things you'll be seeing things. Yeah. And laughing a lot. Yeah. I don't take them often. I've only take, done it a couple times, and I was laughing my ass off. I don't know where you get them. Probably, I would probably ask your weed dealer. Exactly. That's, yeah. I would just ask a friend, and then that friend probably knows another friend. That's how you do it. I usually get them from my family. And, yeah. And, you know. Yeah. That and friends. Ask open-ended questions. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure that they are safe. How do you know? What if someone dried some portobello and gave them to you? Well, it's a good idea. I'd go be so to a per- <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm fucked up. Go to Kroger's. No, just the person you ask, make sure you're close with them and that you have your best interest. So I guess and- just like weed. If, if weed's illegal where you are, it'd be the same as getting weed. Mm-hmm. And Brett, what were you looking up that you could uh, buy mushrooms from Colorado? Yeah, there's a loophole you can buy. Um, the kits. The seeds. Yeah, and then the spores. Yeah. It's elite. So you can you can grow mushrooms for uh, medicinal research or something, uh-huh. but can't sell them. Yeah, you can't. That's basically it. The, yeah. the loophole is you can buy the spores, make them, but not do anything else. And a lot of people yeah. grow them on their own, which is what you're talking about. Yeah, we yeah. have friends that grow them. and. Yeah. Personally, I would love to start yeah. doing that. Um, yeah. So there's that. There's that. <laughs> so there's mm-hmm. that. But yeah, I just, you know, friends of friends of friends mm-hmm. and trust the source. Yeah. And also, when I do them, I make sure I have a full stomach because if my stomach's empty, I puke. Uh, and yeah. it's not good. And then I don't like to mix with, like, if I have alcohol, yeah. I don't like to do or weed. both. Uh. You can do a little both. I, I mean, I sometimes do. Yeah. I'll, if I do mushrooms like in the day, then I'll smoke weed at night. I yeah, won't yeah. try to do overlap them. But, right, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, everybody's different. True. You just gotta figure out what works for you. I felt paranoid R- when you did mushrooms? mushrooms. Yeah. Wow. Just like it, it had the same effect as, as weed. like weed on me. Wow. When did you do them? In L.A. at one of your oh, shows. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I had to go. Sit, I had to go to the back of the building and set for a minute because I was like, mm-hmm. "There's people, too many people around," and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not okay." People bring us mushrooms to the shows too. I think that was Jerry. Jerry, oh, Jerry, gave, Jerry, Jerry kept give, giving them to me. Yeah, he, I, and I, I might have taken too many. Yeah, I don't that's know. what it was. Yeah, I, th- I think I remember you doing yeah. it. Remember, I had to. I was like, I need to get away and go set in the yeah. back for a Aww. minute, <laughs> and I was working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was working the merch booth. I was like, I can't do this right now. We were all on him. Damn. All of us. And I was trying to help out. We were all trying to help out, and we were all kind of oh god on him. But, uh, yeah, try not to do them around people your first time, because when I first started doing it, I was at one of Chelsea's tours. and We're all about, doing shrooms at your shows. <laughs> Damn. And about 20 people flocked up, and I was like, oh, I was trying to. Have a conversation yeah. with 20 people at once. <laughs> Not a Luke. Not good. And I was frightened. Aww. <laughs> Paranoia. So, yeah. He's paranoid I was here. like, oh, fuck. They're all going to know I'm being weird right now. <laughs> you know? Because they start asking so many questions and you're just like, holy shit. Yeah. Aww. Started saying triple. Hey, honey's triple here. Triplets there. Just, just, um... Yeah, my advice would be when you uh, get your hands on some, take it slow. Maybe one little mushroom at a time. And the spores and the stems, I mean, the caps and the stems, they say they do different things. Mm -hmm. So that's your preference. Yeah. And some people take mushrooms to not even get high. They'll microdose and take very little just to... to for health reasons. So you don't have to take them and get stoned or get hot. If you take a lot, you will, but you don't even have to. So The mushroom guy, Paul Stamets, says if you take, if you microdose psychedelic mushrooms and then take his Stamets 7 or his vitamins with the psychedelic that it, like, it's 
even better. Oh, maximizes results. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't it, know that. Yeah, it will maximize your results. Huh. That's interesting. And your health. That's interesting. Good little, good little talk here. Yep. Good yeah. times. Good times. And I feel good and energetic when I do it. Mushrooms yeah. make me see better. Really? Oh, I have. I've heard that about stuff. And also, I want to let everyone know. And this is not really about this. Uh, I don't. I'm not talking about th- um, this conversation we're having. I just mean in general on this podcast, we are not spreading information or misinformation. We're just having conversations. Okay. Yeah, we just keep our mind open, and we hope yeah. you do the same. We're, we're not like, hey, go buy mushrooms right now and fucking do it. No. We're just having conversations. Love ya. We just do what we do, yeah. our personal experiences, and then you, you can dabble however you want. Exactly. On anything. Yes, on any topic. Good call. Hey, honey. Snack food lover here. Um, I just finished your most recent episode. And I really loved when y'all just sat around talking about how the Reese's candy has changed. I feel like a lot of foods just don't taste the way they used to. And so I'm I'm trying to find new foods that I like. Um, I'm just wondering, do y'all have like a go-to gas station order? Um, what I mean by that is like if you're ordering snacks to your house or if you're driving the gas station just for certain snacks, because my boyfriend and I have made, like, a ritual of getting the gas station snacks. And sometimes we mix it up. But we have a few of our favorites. So I'm just wondering, do you have a go-to order? What would it be? Um, just anything. Uh, love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. I do have a go-to. This is a bomb question. And I know you do. Oh, yeah. We, we stop at a lot of gas stations on the road. And so I am so over eating at gas stations, but I do have an order. And that is a bag of Funyuns, a thing of bean dip, and a chocolate milk. Oh, oh, oh. what's yours? Takis. Mm-hmm. Or if that's, there's not Takis, some flaming Hot Cheeto. I like those uh, vanilla starbucks frappuccinos those are real good for you and uh pretty much just anything with a lot of red 40 dye <laughs> right we love red 40 around here <laughs> love it what else just I, sometimes i'll do my well I, I always do my smarties i was about to say you always grab a smarty those sweet tart ropes have been hitting oh <laughs> oh and uh those sweet the smarties suckers love those and i get a big giant if they're there better be nugget ice yeah at the gas station yeah a big old cup of ice mm-hmm. you always get a cup of ice <laughs> yeah and uh call her custom ice what else do i get bro <laughs> that's i mean that's a lot you nailed yeah, it you, yeah. that's all that's what if you have a snack so, on you it's one of those sauce is important too you know yeah with the fries if you those get that. uh palon pico rico things the uh mexican candy oh yeah i've been really liking to dip my talkies in that uh-huh mm-hmm. uh-huh you have i don't think i can like go back to just talkies now now i have to dip it dip. in that yeah mountain valley spring water we love snacks yeah. big snackers mm-hmm. love my bean dip what do you guys get on here zen thanks you <laughs> always pick up zen <laughs> Zen. That's fucking I mean, yeah. I don't, I, I'm not just sitting at the house and like, I'm going to go get a gas station snack. I, yeah. It's rare that I go yeah. into a gas station. But if you go in. Something. Usually it's like beef jerky or yeah. I like those, um, what are those crackers in the bag with the brown circle things? Ooh, like Chex Mix? Yes. Like those, yeah. those things you- remind me of moles. <laughs> they've always looked like big moles yeah so i'll get like a little bag of those and beef jerky you do yep i always get those yep hey can we go back to the smacking sometimes you know i'll just be at home smacking and me and brett we call each other smacky chan that's <laughs> good y'all, y'all have names. the names the names yeah. they have for each other. Mm-hmm. she comes up with all these names that's funny yeah. smacky chan i'm squinting tarantino that's funny I asked for a pad the other day from Lola, and she called me Patty. <gasps> Here you go, Patty. She's that's funny. And I was They're like, gonna "You be called us. me Patty, <laughs> Patty, 
That's, that's good. Funny. That's I a know. good one. That's a good one. She hates it when I call her Amy. Why do you call her Amy? Amy. Because you can never find my hole, dude. I can't dude. find it. I have to. He, he'll be down there for, for, like, you know, licking's great. But his when he inserts his penis, he cannot find my hole. He'll be down there lost. Why? And so I have to aim it. He'll, so then he goes, Amy. Hey, Amy. He'll be like, hey, Amy. Because he, <laughs> instead of, you know, being like, I can't find your hole, he's got to say, hey, Amy. It's a gaslight. Is that Sorry right about for that. everybody? Brett, just put it in the middle and then I, put it in. I got like a little bend or something. Are all men like, I can't remember with any of my exes, but it's too is tight. it like that? Amy? Do all men can't find the hole? No. Because I can't remember if I've always like put them in the right direction. To Huh. No, that's just Brett. Yeah, Maggie? Do you ever have to be... Get your hand down there and put the dick on the hole. It's just Brett. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it actually helps me get pretty hard, I feel, too. I like it. It it's makes like... me mad. If he can't <laughs> find the hole, I'm like, what the fuck huh. are you doing? It's not like you have a lot going on down there. It's not like he's getting lost. You're tiny. Yeah. He'll just be going like, ugh, like flustered, and then he'll get his mullet hair and put it to one side, like... That, she told me to do that. That, makes me that was mad. not my idea. But he'll do it like this. <sighs> oh I'm my. not trying to look good, bro. And then this is what he does. This is his thing before we have sex every time. He can't find the hole. Then he ha- then he has to move the hair over to one side, and then he does a couple twists on the muscle. <gasps> no, no, that's made up. Unless and by I'm blacking then, out, I'm dry. Huh. Oh, to see that? Oh, I know. Okay, I might do going, it because, uh, like, we, we twisting kiss, his mustache we is what you're doing for a sec, and then it's kind of like in my mouth, and I kind of do that. So I know what she's saying. Yeah, Brett, I do do that. You do that, but it's we, not like I'm twisting while I'm like, you know, I'm not twisting. No. Twisty. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. All right. Well, let's move on. Okay. This okay. is the last call. <gasps> yeah. All right. Here we go. Hey, honey. Um, I'm just calling today because, well, for one, my girlfriend is obsessed with you. Um, I get to see your calendar from last year up on the wall every day near the TV. So, you know, I get to see your boobs all the time. Her birthday is actually the day after yours, August the 10th. And, uh, yeah, she just loves you. But um, I'm calling because I actually just found out some things recently. I'm 26, and uh, I did an ancestry DNA test. And I matched with some people and found out, I guess, that my father, who I always thought was my father, actually isn't. You know, I've never really been close with him and stuff. I don't have a lot of family, like, you know, close to in my mom's side. But I have a son as well and everything. You know, I actually have the same name as my my guy that I thought was my dad. So does my son. We're all Michaels. And um, it's kind of weird. So, like, I found out my father's a twin and stuff, and it's like, kind of hard to believe. But how about my mom, like, kind of off shook it and acted like, no, nah, that's not possible. Like, you look just like your dad and stuff like that. And I've had people tell me that I don't. But then, like, you can f- see that I actually am more, you know, relatable to them and stuff. And it's, like, kind of crazy. So I kind of guess my question is, what if you find out you have a whole family out there? Like, now I have five other brothers and sisters. And that's kind of crazy, too, because he's a twin. My father's a twin, and they have five kids. So I have cousins, too, that are just as related to me almost in, like, look just like me kind of, too, and it's kind of nuts. So I just want to know what y'all would do if you found out you had an entire family that you never knew about. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. How about your mom? Well, first off, honey, thank you for the love and for the support. We love you back. Yes. Thank thank you, you. guys. And thanks for calling in because I bet a lot of people with this new DNA are finding out a lot. This call is relatable to a lot of people. Even some of our close friends. Even us. I mean, not necessarily our mother and father, but there's some stuff that we were told uh, in our family our whole lives that once people started taking DNA tests, like, hmm, can't be true. (laughs) Did they tell you beforehand or just after? Well, my, my mom, my grandpa is half Filipino. So that's a fact. He, my, my great grandma, 
I had a child with a full blood Filipino man. So my grandpa is half Filipino. So that would make our mom a fourth. Yeah. A fourth Filipino. And that would make us an eighth. I Now, I think my little measurements are right. I may be wrong. I don't know. Now, of course, we don't look Filipino, but we're an eighth. And that's what we were always told. Like, that's that's that. Well, when we all got our DNA test, nobody had Filipino in them. And he was um, dark. Yeah. Our, our grandpa was dark. Yeah. Uh, so we were like, hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. No, and nobody ever said anything. We're like, huh. But so. also, sometimes those tests don't pick up certain. Apparently, like they don't pick up like Native American stuff, is what I've been told. I don't know. I have no idea. That's why we never like said anything. Cause we're just like, hmm. And then our dad's side, we were always told we had a lot of German. Oh, like almost, almost full blood German. Our great. Our great great grandparents came from Germany. Yeah, over here to Oklahoma. So not great great to Oklahoma. So we should have, and we were zero German. Zero. They in the land rush, the Oklahoma land rush. And and also, my the man that was my grandma's father, who we thought was our great grandpa. What? His, his family did not match with us. The Filipino grandpa? No, a different. Because she was adopt or not not adopted, no. but uh, she she had a different dad than the rest of the kids. Yeah, but she knew her dad, and this is who we knew as her. We'd see him every we our great grandpa. We knew who he was. Blah blah. blah. Her very small town, so everybody knows everybody. Her, his family did not match with ours at all. So we're like, hmm, so okay, I guess he wasn't my grandma's dad. Just a lot of stuff that's like, and I've heard from so many people about like dads and yeah that. <laughs> Something's not adding up, though. This is your mom's dad, full Filipino. Yeah. And he's she half. wasn't dark at all. And she, mom. your mom would be half Filipino then? No, my mom would be a fourth. He's half. But he's not Filipino. Oh, okay. So he's th- so that's all a lie then? But also, my great his mom, my great-grandma, was like Native American quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Quite a bit. We got zero Native American, too. So that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Now when it comes to like that type of stuff, is 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 it off? I don't know. That can be explained whatever. But it's the it's the not adding up with the grand granddad. Mm-hmm. You guys need to do some math with that one and some get to the bottom pie of chart. it. That's what I'm saying. You guys we we don't chart. know where the hell we come from. Where to start. Now, what would I, he's he's saying, what, you know, this happened to him. He did a DNA test. His dad's not his dad. I feel like that's common. For a lot, I've heard this a lot. What would I do? Probably nothing. It's hard. You can't do nothing, but you just have to. I I mean, your whole life from that point on is changed. And honestly, it might could ruin a little bit of your relationship with your mom because she's been telling you your whole life that this guy is your father. And that, sorry, my my <laughs> headphones flipped off. The way you just whipped him back on was out of control. That's what I'm saying. I'd want some answers from mom. And I think his mom should definitely be. Come on, mom, just give him a little bit of. He's got. He just found out his fucking. You know, give him a little bit of answer. Even if she's just, I mean, embarrassed or mm-hmm. just maybe like it's. When do you tell your kid? You know, it's like if you tell him early. Who knows if you tell him. Maybe she doesn't even know when she, but she could also say that. She could also say, I don't know. I didn't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, usually if you're fucking around and then you're pregnant. Yeah. I mean, you just got to look back and think, how many people did I fuck? Yeah. I'd want some answers. Just a little. He, she should, she should give him a little bit of, you know, that's a big, she can't just say, nope, not true. That's your dad. <laughs> yeah. First thing you I can't do, say that. Yeah. yeah. First thing I think that I would do is want to reach out to my yeah my new family. I agree. Hey, I'm your brother. Yeah, Michael. Facetime. Can you imagine us showing up to the new family? They're like, and then oh, be like, oh yeah. god, it's those girls, girls from TikTok. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's the crankers. Trailer trash, Tammy. It's the crankers. <laughs> the crankers. Those girls that fart on the internet. That's my fucking kid. 
I've been writing hate comments on her Facebook for years. <laughs> and it's my sister. <laughs> Dude, oh my. Yeah, I feel like this is relatable, man. I, I would definitely ask your mom to be like, hey, you know, this is kind of important to me that you give me some answers. And it's not just changing his life. It's changing like 12 people's lives. All the new siblings, the cousins, right. the right. I mean, the father of Michael. Yeah. The Yeah. To know you have a new kid yeah. that you didn't know you had for however long. Yeah, that can be tough. Feel like you missed out. Feel like you didn't know. Feel it, 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 there's a lot going on here, man. Being a guy would be fucking wild. Yeah, you nut, and then find out you have a kid twenty years later. <laughs> you Isn't nut, that crazy. Yeah, you got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes you're not. That would be the worst. Yeah, Tito, barking for mama. Being a guy is kind of wild. Admit. How so? I'm just kidding. I was just re, uh, repeating what she said. One of Beth's so, friends. So you're just though? talking at your ass. Yeah. I mean, Go ahead, Paige. No, it is fun, though. One of Beth's friends found that out, right? And then yeah. her daddy, she, her new daddy that she got was... Multimillionaire. Yeah. And so gave her money. Like, that happens in Lifetime movies. I know. That needs to be a hallmark. That... He was like, I never knew about you. Motherfucker's rich. Gives her like 10 grand for Christmas. Gives her so. money. It's like, mm-hmm. what? So take those DNA tests, people. You, you never know. Mo- if you need money. Mm-hmm. You never know. You never know. It's the fucking jackpot. Yeah. One call. That's all. One Good job, song. Brett. <laughs> Sorry. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. I appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Listen to the pod. Love you guys. That was the last question. Y'all, Damn. Merry Christmas. I've been waiting for Christmas since January, for real. Yeah, last January? Last yeah. January. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like Christmas to me, and I don't know why. I just, I, I don't know why. You've had Christmas decorations up for two months, though. Well, I know. You're the only one. Who That's probably like, why, just because. You've had them up for a while. Yeah. I still don't even have my tree up. Well, it's uh, it kind of too late now. Got a few I days. Wouldn't. Well, we were late. Well, we were on vacation, and then I'm yeah. leaving again yeah. back to Utah. So just I mean, don't put one up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. If you're not even going to be here for Christmas, I wouldn't put it up. My whole neighborhood is like they went all out. Really, and their houses look beautiful. And I'm just I stare at their decorations. I'm like, dude, I got to do it. Yeah. Every I, year I say I'm doing it, and I never do. I feel grown up. If I'm decorating a porch and getting yeah. pumpkins for a porch, yeah, I feel like a grown up. I don't hey, like it. Hey, honey's adult here. Yeah, changed. Hmm. I don't like it being an adult. I still have pumpkins out in the yard, too. Damn, bitch! <laughs> Mine were getting moldy, so I just brought them in. And they're still there? Uh, They're actually, yes, they're by my front door now. They were down on yeah. the steps, and then I they were moldy, and I moved them by my front door. Hey, honey, throw them away. I don't want to put them in the trash can, though. Put them in a trash bag and just stick them out in that trash can by the road when he, before they come. But I usually don't have enough room for an extra bag. <laughs> <laughs> can you come help us? So I don't know uh, what to do with them. They're just sitting there. Drive to a Wendy's parking lot. <laughs> go to the... No, I'm just kidding. I've done that before, though. Anyway. What? I've thrown trash in fast food parking, parking lots. Not parking lots, but, in you know, they garbage. have the trash. Sec- yeah, I've done it. I'll admit that. I I did something illegal. I will admit that. I will. They didn't, they need to chill out. It's just trash going in a trash can. Right. And a, and a trash man's picking it up and putting it in the trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. <sighs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. We will see you guys in a couple weeks. Happy Stay safe. holidays. Yes. We love you. Spend some quality time with your family. Give them mm-hmm. a big old hug, even if they're they're not your family. Maybe yeah, just hug people. You and, know, and and please give us a lot of voicemails to come back with at the new year. Some saucy ones. Yeah. Okay. And that, that Christmas family drama. Yeah, oh. give us some Christmas family drama. Love those. Uh huh. And go to our website, theviralpodcast.co. We have some. Our new merch is thriving. And new merch is thriving. And our phone number is 442-777-3331. And always remember, you're doing great.
you're looking good and, and fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Get ready. 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 We're going viral.